to dock. Docking permission granted. What's up, folks? <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. So, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're all doing well. If you are watching this later on YouTube, then um, thank you so much. Um, videos are doing great. Hopefully you're enjoying. Um, if you have anything, if you have anything you want me to do differently, change, uh, let me know. Because uh, even even when I'm streaming, I can definitely, definitely, um, well, take some things into consideration, of course. So, yeah. Welcome to you as well. Uh, got a bit of an itch, <laughs> which is annoying as hell, of course. So, uh, I've, well, I've been, a bit, what have I been doing? Well, previously we kind of did lose our fleets, quite a bit. Uh, we kind of just um, st started shooting the wolf, and it's still there, and that is not good. So I had to rebuild. What else happened is uh, Ryan's defense is uh, Ryan's defiance is now currently off uh, property of the patriarch. I don't know why he's building certain factories in there. It's kind of weird how it all goes because refined goods in here needs ore. How much ore is in this system? Well, actually, there is a decent amount. 
So maybe that is why he just doesn't want to be in this system. But one of the funny things is he's actually building a microchip factory over there as well. So I'm sure that by giving it enough time, they will start to repopulate their systems. And I'm very, very pleased with the result so far. Now, I'm, I'm building the third fleet. That's over here. There's the Lithuanian guy. And I have one fleet patrolling over here. Why patrolling? Because I, uh, I don't see much action over at this accelerator. And... Yeah, I just want my fleet to move a tiny bit. And, and so the other one is actually on defense, the one that's over here. And it's been <laughs> having some combat <laughs> quite a bit. Now, before we do anything, that, that's one thing I want to talk to you about. And that is your supply ships. Uh, one thing that I've been actually looking into. And you can see that over here, the storage. And you may ask yourself, what, what's up with that storage? Well, the storage you can find in your behavior tab. Oh, over here. Uh, down here, trade rules. Uh, usually it is set to however you have your uh, corporation set up. So this is usually your own corporation. I don't need that. He can trade with whomever he wants. They can provide him. Just make sure... That when you open these, like I want my ships to be topped off. So I've put, I um, made sure that the prices will not adjust automatically. And that's the only advice I'm going to give you. Just make sure that you, you, put, you, you turn that off. Unless you own like the entire galaxy and yeah, you're just, just liking the view of it. But personally, just turn it off. And this... This also goes, and it says uh, resupply ship trade settings, which is interesting because whenever I add a new resupply ship, I do have to adjust those settings. So don't think it actually goes automatically. Just assume that it isn't. So you do not get caught with your pants down. And I do add two trade ships to them. And they are behaving according to their own captain, so not to their leader. But here you go. Invalid troll. Own corporation. Own corporation. How, how is it going over here? It says no restrictions here. So why is it... Yeah, this one's I have on no restriction. See? So don't assume. Don't assume anything. I still have to change those. It's from the fleet over here. So we're going to be taking a quick look. Let's close Alpha. Uh, I've changed all of the um, the missile ones. Hey! <laughs> hey, man, look at this. Look at this. Daily's uh, on, hell yeah. Cheers, man. Welcome. I told you. I told you. Even even if you're not there, I still think about you. Uh, you're starting to get your own fleet, man. There you go. So um, what I was saying is you want to change this. You want to turn this stuff off. <laughs> you're going to be doing no restrictions over here or whatever it is that you fancy just click all of these open and I, I would hope that eventually that will change it so that if you have settings for your own uh, resupply fleet they will actually be taken over so just just in completely get these up and you can actually sometimes see that some of these um, they will be resupplied by this yeah, man, it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad you're pleased. Let's turn off SATA for a second here, because I heard ships, and that's, that's just annoying. But, uh, yeah, thank you for, for being here. I really appreciate it. Turn off the automatic pricing. Uh, just, just make sure that this still goes like this. Even though we are completely overflowing the... Um, <laughs> overflowing the... Uh, blah, 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 what's it called again? Market. Yes, that's the word I'm looks, I was looking for. I'm hoping one of these will actually um, bring some results in. One of my dogs is very annoying now. Could you, could you stop it? Just, why did you open up this cabin? Don't do it. Don't, don't start whining. Don't start whining. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> so how have you been doing, man? How are you doing? Let's take a look if some of these will actually get a ship. You can actually see the ship over here. There's one of them. Let's see. I saw it with one of my other fleets. It does work like this. So keep in mind, even if you set up your... Resupply trade ships in your fleet settings. 
don't assume anything. Don't assume anything. Just make sure you uh, you check out with your uh, with your trade ships and change them accordingly. I, I, I like to go with no restrictions because, you know, your enemies will never supply you with resources. That's, that's not going to happen. It's not how it works. I would not resupply my enemy while he is uh, shooting me. So, yeah. There, it's, it's usually only friends. Friends. Well, quote-unquote, quote, friends, because you know they're your next victim. And for today... For today, because we're still quite early in the stream, we're going to be um, finishing the Lithuanian guy's fleet. And we're going to be bringing it into a combat position. We'll be joining the Lithuanian fleet with our dragon. They shoot our enemy supplies. I, I agree, man. I agree. They should go. I oh, see, see. Here you go. Here you go. So this boa, he is not f my ship is going to be supplying it with energy cells. And I don't care about the price. You know, we're making enough money. We don't have to worry about money anymore, basically, because we have all of the, uh, the blueprints. Uh, so, yeah, uh, all of the blueprints. Like, I'm thinking about for the next run, when the uh, the next DLC comes out, you know, the um, the Tides of, of Everise, or whatever it's pronounced, is another boa. Uh, providing me with a whopping four weapon components. Why four? Well, I believe you can only carry another four. But at least your supply ships are going to be supplied and they will be making sure that your ships be uh, repaired. There's one other thing you want to do before you actually go to war. So you have your fleet. You have looked at your supply settings. You see, this one's also wrong. Like, I've, I still have a lot. This one was actually right. This one is now good. These are now good. Uh, let's change this as well before I finish my uh, my sentence. But then I forget completely what I was doing. Uh, I am one of those guys. Yes, I am. I always forget what the f what am I what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know. Here you go. I kind of wanted to turn Seda back on because I still need three more. Rattlesnakes, and then we're going to be filling it up with dragons and a hundred Chimeras, which is just the best. Uh, I will probably leave this dock. Not much I can do over here. I was actually looking at the uh, the so-called new modules. Yeah, well, maybe I need another ship for it. It's most likely have something to do with the Manticore, which you will get like tracking range or speed or whatever. Um, like I said, uh, I want to be going into for what do we do with the next campaign when the new DLC is released? What shall we do? And I'm thinking we can either go with, with, with one of the storylines, of course, and uh, we probably will. Uh, but I want to be greedy. We're going to be hunting achievements in that one because that's going to be a extremely long campaign which will be quite heavy on economics because we're going to be greedy, like I said. We're going to be, most likely, it's going to be a Taladi mission. Uh, I think it's going to be a Taladi mission, but I'm not sure yet. There is not a lot of details on the starts yet. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to get the DLC just a bit ahead of time so we can just explore that. Let's just get all of these prizes up here. All the medic prices, just fill them up. Nobody cares about the price. They don't need so much materials. Like, this one's actually going to be bringing it in. And my own corporation wasn't, because my own corporation is just, you know, busy as hell. I'm uh, I'm, still in, I'm starting to lose track of uh, what I was going to say. Uh, let's just fill this up completely. Yeah. But yeah, I will be discussing what we will do on Discord. Like, I need you on Discord, guys. Honestly, uh, it's it's been it's currently very very dead, and I need people to talk with, and they're not there, so it's annoying. It's annoying me, I, and I, I need people to have conversations with. So yeah, if you're into Discord, join me on Discord. Let's join these guys up with the uh, attack fleet of uh, of the Lithuanian guy over there. Three more rattlesnakes, and then I will go in with the medium ships. Uh, so before you start your fleet. Before you start your fleet, before you go to war and do anything, you're going to go to your personal tab, you're going to go towards your global orders, and you will make sure your default setting for automatic resupply is going to be not on-off. Not on-off. 
Now, if you're going for low, it will take them more time. They will take more damage. You will lose more ships for medium. And the high is like, oh no, I have a scratch on my paint. I will go repair. I like that option quite a bit. I don't like scratched paint at all. So, yeah, uh, I usually have it on high. And I noticed it, like, almost instantly. Your ships, they will go dark. Like, your regulars, your small ships, they, they won't go to your resupply ship. No, they go to the capital ship. They go to that carrier, and they will repair themselves. That's why I have not yet lost a ship in this fleet if we um let's go to the uh, invalid troll over here to its uh, is it logbook no it's behavior i think yeah it's, it's loadout you go down here you can see the gamma the gamma wing still has 100 fighters the beta wing which consists out of dragons still has a 30 of them epsilon is the resupply and the alpha is the uh, the rattlesnakes they will all repair which i just I simply love. <laughs> I really like that. I really do. So yeah, three more rattlesnakes. Uh, what we will do once these two sectors are gone is we're going to be lining for these two. Now, why these two? It is a main mission. When you start the game as a split kind of guy, it is, uh, I believe this one, yeah. Paving the way is one of the very first missions you will get. It's very hard, will take you a long time, and it's these three systems. Guiding Star 5, Guiding, guiding Star sec, uh, 7, and the 11th hour. And why the 11th hour? Well, it's just if you open up your settings, you say 11th hours. Warning, this is a long-term objective. Uh, we've waited long enough, don't you think? <laughs> so, yeah, we will be uh, doing this mission. Now, what we will do then... If there's not going to be an anti-argon approach, is we're going to be dealing with the uh, with cops. You know, we've done this two or three times, and I failed. I had to roll back because they just overwhelmed me. There's a lot of stations changing. We will make sure that we have one fleet over at the heart of Erkney. We're going to make sure we have one fleet in Tarkin's Ravine. And there's going to be one fleet going into the Fires of Victory. And all three will eventually meet up somewhere in the middle. We will destroy every base that the Scrubs will get. Or the Cops, or whatever it's called. I call them Scrubs. I don't know why. There are no Scrubs. No Scrubs here, man. So, yeah. How is the terraforming going? Well, the terraforming is currently halfway in. It's not really important. Because the Xenon... They did take the center alpha, the profit center alpha. They were quite annoying, and it seems like the Taladi are starting to build again. I sent a fleet over here. Actually, it was um, Skew, the Skew fleet over here that uh, dealt with whatever was there. I'm thinking the next one we might go to against the Taladi. Maybe. Just, just making sure we connect all of this. Like, what I want is all of this. And then we'll start sending fleets into this direction, going all the way over here. We'll build a base. Then we will go into, I think it's the, uh, yeah, Cascade. And we know we can go into the Yaki territory over here, which will go somewhere around here. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Fun times. A lot of wars. I like wars. I like combat. I like the engagement. It's a lot smoother now than, than like a few updates ago. So yeah, oh man, I've been I've been ranting, I've been rattling. Sorry for that. So Lithuanian guy, how is life, man? Hopefully you're still here. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. Let's go. Let's take a look. So we need one more rattlesnake. No, two more. Um, you lied. Your Discord's not emptied. Yeah, but it's you know the problem is it's 160 people of pure pure no no conversation at all and it it's annoying me it's a shame you know and I, like they they did talk briefly and then i it, it's quiet until i open up my mouth and then there's five lines and welcome to the discord lithuanian guy uh let me give you what kind of roles do you like there's a role selection over there 
overall uh, request currently. We're wor working on the uh, role selection where you can just select your role by yourself. I have to do it manually. So I'm going to be giving you the X4. And uh, yeah, cheers, man. Let's give you X4 role at least. I think you're... Uh, did you actually... You, you were thinking about buying it, right? You didn't buy it yet. I believe it was something like that. Let's give you the X4 one. And if you my ch own channel. Yeah, you know, you don't need special treatment. Okay, that's fine, but still, I'm uh, I'm I'm enjoying the fact that you joined me. Cheers back to you. Cheers back to you. Are we now making rattlesnakes? I do have X4 with all of the DLCs. So what have you been playing? What are you most interested about? Because I think that is also very important. I want to just take a look if my interests are similar. Okay, one of the rattlesnakes is going to be built. Once the other one is going to be built, we're going to be um, starting with four boas. Once those are ordered, we're going to be putting in the 30 dragons and the 100 chimeras. It will take some time to actually get those going. We don't have to wait for that because they're mainly there to uh, intercept... They intercept. Uh, oh, come on. Why do you keep sending your fleets through here? That's why I want to start sending these fleets in. You know, we'll start doing that. We will start doing that. Where's my fleet? Uh, it's currently over here. It's not doing anything. Come here, mate. You are going to get a protection mission. It's going to be difficult because I know for a fact there is a K or... And there's two Ks and an I in this one. We're going to be defending this gate with this fleet. So you're not longer going to be patrolling, you're going to be protecting position. Select that. I love the features over here. Just protect the uh, the gate, confirm that. They are now going in. They are off to war. And I'm hopefully they're not going to be destroyed. But they have a good amount of troops with them. You know, they, they, they're they decent fleet. There's 158 ships in total. Their rattlesnake is almost done. One minute to go in. Then this one. What we will do with the Lithuanian guy is he will eventually defend this region. And I don't think we'll have to worry about too many things. Too early on. Let's go join you over here. He will be attacking with Commander Alpha. There you go. Okay, so he actually made it. The one of those things that I don't like, let me pause the game over here, is that they, I believe they start without, with no shields. Oh, actually they do. Never mind. Talking out of my ass again. So yeah. So what do you what do you think about the X4, man? Because X4 has been... I've been liking it quite a bit. I've been... It's one of the first X4s I got really dragged into. Uh, I've, I own X1, 2, and 3, and I actually own Rebirth, and, and, and some of the DLCs, not all of them, some of the DLCs. And I think they are, like, I, I've, been, I've been hearing that X3 probably is one of the best, like, story-wise. And I still need to get into that at some point. Shall we start sending... So we start sending you in. Like, once this gets built... No, I'm not going to do that just yet. We're going to give it uh, a few more. A few more minutes. We're going to be taking a look at what will go, what, what's going to happen with this fleet. How, f how hard are they going to be hit? Hey, man. X3 from it looks good. Oh, yeah, that's the one they released yesterday. So I'm going to be calling you DJ Big... Is it Bird? Bird. DJ Big Bird. Welcome, man. Good seeing you again. Thank you for the follow recently. Uh, I believe it's 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 March 2021. There was a new DLC for X4. Oh, X3 they uh, released. Which is good. You know, I love that they're still working on it. What an amazing company. I, look, I'm not saying this because I, I got some games from them. But... Um, I really think these games are so fantastic. And I've been... Look, I'm not going to say... Look, look, we got a um, 1,076 hours played. <laughs> so, yeah, I love this game. You know, it's by my number one. 
Uh, I'll be bringing X4 on Uber 2 now. Uh, see how it performance plans out. Reinstalled my PC since yesterday. Okay, cool. Let me know how it goes. Let me go, let me know how it goes. The Linux. Oh yeah, Linux. I've been hearing good things about it. And so far, they've been trying to squeeze me to get a, a Windows 11. I got it on my laptop. Oh, Jesus. I hate it. I seriously don't like the interface at all. Okay, guys, uh, heads up. Uh, ad will be starting in five minutes. Uh, what I will try doing is when that ad starts, I'm going to be turning on my coffee pot and we'll just give it a second. Uh, and welcome to all of the other guys who are currently lurking. I know you need to be a follower in order to chat. It's free, guys. It is absolutely free. And I'm trying to reach, I'm hopefully, hopefully 500 this year. That would be nice. That would be nice. I've been see seeing like the results up and I'm way too excited. <sighs> <sighs> okay, I need to stop my brain. Unfortunately, I don't have any anxieties. I know, I know that actually helps a lot. I don't have them. <laughs> I'm just hyper. I'm sometimes way too hyper. I get really, really into some things that people just don't give a rat's ass about. That's good. <laughs> it's not a children's channel, guys, by any means. I'm, I'm, I, don't, I don't shy my words. Also, if you want to look back at, the, um, at some of the previous streams... Uh, I have a YouTube channel where I'm going to be posting all of the streams unedited, undoing, because I just... I done editing for six years. No, that's a lie. I've cut them up for six years. And, and I don't want to do that ever again. So, yeah. Uh, did we actually lose some ships over here? No, these are Xenon. That's good. So, this fleet is uh, currently defending. Come on, man. Come on with a rattlesnake. What do you... <clears throat> okay, I, I, what do we have? What do we have? Shipyard. Storage. Uh, okay, we are... Oh, the Shire Advanced Electronics. That is a nice fleet. I like the shape of it. It's currently using the W feature, I believe. Um, let's go to... Yeah, the W shape. The W shape. The W. <laughs> I'm way too Dutch for this. Way too Dutch for this. Let's go over here. Um, Invalid Troll. Uh, you can actually use a better one. Why don't you use it? Let's go with the... I don't like X shapes. A backward cross. How does that work? Forward X shape. Well, yeah, you will go... You should be able to go with an X shape. And I'm not sure... Oh, there you go. He's actually now setting it up. Let's go to him. So that will start changing. Uh, the reason I do this is... I've noticed whenever you do... W for the win, man. W for the win. I like it. Uh, let's... Um, RL Snake's four minutes out. I can actually talk my way through that. That's easy. Whenever you give them a, uh, a better one, they will just gain more experience. That, that's how I see it. Uh, unfortunately... Actually, he's almost there. He is currently in a triangle, which... Um, not sure if how I feel about that. The inverse V-shape, I quite like a bit more. Now, it sometimes, it doesn't grab that. There we go, inverse V-shape. You will see, he will stop, and they will go and just redistribute them, which is cool. Uh, three minutes in, so we can now start with the wolf. We're going to be building ships. Now, we need four boas. Why? Because I quite like that, four boas. Firm, and um, we're going to be starting with four Chimeras. Why four Chimeras? Well, they are the um, defenders. They are the defenders of these uh, of my uh, resupply ships. I think well, that's a bit of a role play. I don't think you actually need it, but I quite like how it goes. I believe I've done that with all of my fleets. Uh, two boas. Oh, we actually lost one of them. Well, that sucks. Yeah, he actually lost one of them. Dude. I don't like that. 
Uh, we have to rectify that. I need to make one more. Let's go here, build, build one more Chimera. Interceptor. Confirm, confirm that. I'm clicking so fast, even the game doesn't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. Uh, it seems like they've all been queued up. How is the skew fleet doing? Uh, it seems like the boas got killed by one of them, so we'll have to build two more. I just want to have them. I, I know it probably makes no sense. Okay, ad is starting soon, guys. Just so you know. I'm going to be putting on the coffee pot. There you go. Oh, uh, two, I believe. Yeah, that's better. Here we go. Confirm order. There you go. Um, now, when when these guys are done, uh, we're going to be queuing them up. We're going to be queuing them up. Let's take a look. Uh, one, two. You will go to the Lithuanian guy, and you will be trading for commander. Uh, beta? No, alpha. Never mind. Assign to... No. Uh, let us remove all assignments. Do that again. Epsilon. Trade for commander alpha. Where's the other one? Wait, do you only have one? No. No. Yeah, you do. Wait, what? Oh, I kind of... <laughs> okay, that's interesting. I didn't mean to do that. Let's give him um, the resupply ship back. He's like, give me back my resupply. No, I don't want that. Go here. Uh, trade for Commander Alpha. And we'll get two Chromeras. To defend Beta. And to defend... You cannot give ordered multiple ships at the same time. What a load of crap. There you go. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is my uh, my guy who's been going all over the system. I completely forgot about this uh, this small fighter. Uh, intercept. No, you're going to be defending over there. No, we need two more boas. Over here. Straight for Commander Alpha. I know it's not necessary, but now I see it. Now I know, and I get frustrated if it doesn't happen. Let's close this off. These are looking good. I can close the Epsilon fleet. Here's my final Rattlesnake. We'll go into the Lithuanian guy. That is good. Now, we have a two Chimeras. No, one Chimera. You will go over here. You will be assigned to this beta group. Then that makes all... Oh, that's so sensible. I'm so sensible today. Love it. Okay, let's start with the 30 dragons. Uh, plan build, build ships. And I will give the order to actually have them built right away. Uh, before I queue up the Chimeras. Because if you don't, the, the game will take... Uh, they will start building ships that, that are cheapest, and I don't need that. So we're going to be starting these ones first. I need 30 of them. We lose... Oh, we just have a bit too few hull parts. That's fine. Let's go here. How is my uh, my fleet doing? Okay, now I'm actually starting to be... I'm starting to feel confident, confident that we can um, send a fleet in here. Now you can see there's a lot of these ships now going in. Now they don't worry us. So let's pause. We're going to be telling the Lithuanian guy to uh, defend. Protect position. Now what this will do is 
Because there is no way these, these ships will stop between like this point and this point, they will actually survive, it will help the economy. So, with such an economical based oriented guy, they won't lose any more ships, we will send in the fleet. Uh, no fighters, because there's actually quite a few small and medium ships, you would lose some ships. Uh, yeah, there's a dragon going down. There was a... One Xenon N got destroyed. Are they attacking? Wow, you are one brave fighter pilot, man. Absolutely brave. There's another one coming in, a dragon. So, when the fleets are... When the fleets are ready, there's one more dragon that needs to be built. And then we can queue up the uh, the 100 Chimeras. And I will actually get some coffee. There we go. They will have to start filling up. Okay, so the fleet actually arrived. Uh, of course, these are small and medium ships. We do not have to worry about them. Uh, the, dra the These rattlesnakes, they will actually be able to uh, <laughs> deal with anything their way. I don't mind. You are going to be attacking with Commander Beta. There you go. That pilot name is Chad, I believe. Oh, that is such a Chad. Mad lad. That is such a cool name. Ah, I think he died. Ah, RIP, man. RIP for Chad. Or Shat. Uh, this is a colonial police. That sounds wrong in so many different ladder, uh, ways. So there's the rattlesnakes coming in. Uh, no, actually not. The rattlesnakes are dragons. All 30 of them. And uh, now we can start with the Chimeras. F's in the chat, man. F's in the chat. So let's go over to my wharf. Build ships. Small. Chimera. Interceptors. And I love this. Hundred. He will lose. He, we will need a lot of engine parts. Oh, actually, no. We only need. F yeah, I changed the designs. I um. <laughs> let's confirm this. Let's go back. I used to be running the interceptors with Type Four engines. My God, that's expensive. That is so expensive. Like it brings you almost nothing. Let me turn it in like this. And I'm currently going with Mark II engines. I will keep the Mark III combat engines in. Because I think it's responsible. That's good. Uh, for the rest, it's all like the same. They uh, they got some geese into them. They don't need docking computers. They don't need all of these, actually. So it works. I give them flares because uh, we are going to be fighting Argon. Argon loves their missiles. Bastards. Damn bastards with their missiles. I'm still uh, awaiting these um, destroyers, actually. Yeah, it's player only, so you don't need to put that on. It's just a waste. Like, okay, if you want to teleport yourself to to one of these ships and ha have a go with them. Okay, it's on you. And we're starting to lose some of these. Uh, we need to defend my ships a bit better. It, it's definitely over here. These ranges, I, I need to go and deal with that. It's not expensive, but you know, it's just... If you build 500 of them, it will add up. And that's my problem with them. I don't need it to add up. Okay, so how long will these guys take to build? Shouldn't be taking too long. Is you building one at a time? you got to be kidding me. I have five hull part factories. There you go, three of them. Five hull part factories, or four. Let's take a look. I have four of them. We can build more. Can definitely build more. We don't have to. How many items does this guy actually have? I have not checked in a long time. 11,628. Okay, let's just jump to this guy. Let's teleport over. Let's teleport there. Yeah. Uh, oh, praise the sun. Jeez. That was so bright. That was so bright. Sorry for that. Hopefully it didn't hurt anyone's eyes. I would feel bad about that. Mm. I love the other save. It's it's so much faster. It used to be like almost two minutes. 
Entering system. Open market. Okay, we're going to be... Um, let's take a look. How much money this help? guy is going to give us. Hand me over your inventory. Uh, we're going towards... I've not been at my shipyard again. Of I've not been at my shipyard. So let's teleport to my shipyard. Okay, let's take a look. Entering system. Family. Newt. Greetings. I love it. It looks smooth. There's a lot of look at these. There's all storages, all storages. Brilliant. Let's uh, let's move up. Let's move up here. There you go. So these, I believe, are residents. Yeah, they're residences. They are not storages. They're a bit longer. They um, uh, they're a bit smoother. I like them. This is also a uh, residential tower. These. Actually, if you want to go for a achievement, like the ad, ad uh, blocker, the ad thing, just just start shooting your own station. And eventually you will get it. It, it doesn't register all of them, which is a bit annoying, but, you know, still works. Let's go, uh, go over here. I can build one Seder, and I can build... Uh, how many Seders would I be able to build? That's nine of them. Space EMP, there's the Space Caviar, which I think is way more important. Let's cancel this out. Space Caviar, we can make 31 Space Caviar. Ah, that's fine. That is fine. Actually, um, I don't want to build any bombs or EMP, because you don't know what you will need them for in any mission. Like, can you I build EMPs and you need bombs for them. That's Here you go. not what I want. Uh, apparently, it's 9... Flux capacitor, interfaces, don't sell the lodestone, programmable field arrays, will not sell the uh, SpaceX, not the container, we'll have the space caviar, and we have uh, these megaliths, and the micro engines. Okay, that's nice. Uh, that's, that's not bad. That's 83 million. I approve. That that guy just going around collecting loot. 83 million. Split wish you fortune. I wish you the same, Mr. Trader M O L E L M O T L E T T whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Uh do we want to use our dragon? Shall we um you know what we'll do? Yeah. We're going to go towards this uh, this fleet, the Lithuanian guy, because he's here, boy. So let's go. Let's teleport to. Yeah, 83 million is bloody nice. It is bloody nice. Not going to be adding these ships yet. Uh, if you are going to be adding ships, just add them at full force. And I want them to. We're going to be attacking this. I'm thinking both of my fleets will go here and attack this. And they're still on the defense mission, so whenever it's done, they will go back to their original position. And they will go and deal with that. Now, what I like about the ver version 5 update is... You can con connect to any of these stations, any of these control panels... You, you can't use them, but you can use Seda, uh, which by itself is just amazing. Because I used to be standing like... Uh, how do you get up here again? Come on, man. Let me up. That's like this. I used to be standing here for such a long time. Okay, let's go F4. Why F4? Because you can zoom in. Okay, so that is the uh, the area. There's all of those ships going. Can we see any 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 K? Activating travel drive. Anything else? Now we know that the fleet of the Lithuanian guy he will um he will have its attacks first because he doesn't have the fighters. That he doesn't have to throw out his fighters. I will most likely look that. Like, I'm I'm talking about this. Like it's it's just. Pooping out fighters. Ah, I love that. Oy, here we go. Look at that. 
oh, man, we, oh, I never envisioned. And when we started this, this was so difficult because the, um, the patriarch is really getting his ass kicked. And it wasn't until I got a defensive base built. Like, this was the very first defensive base I built. When we built this one, we were able to make sure the Xenon didn't get hold of the family Jin. You lose the family Jin, it's over. It, you will not have enough materials in the family nude to support anything. So I went all out. I was killing Case constantly until that was, was constructed. There is, um, and I love, if you want a good defensive station, don't pick beams. Large ships are slow. Plasma turrets are strong. Plasma turrets are friend. Friend of slow. <laughs> so, uh, slow weapon for a slow ship, but it packs a punch. I've seen this guy take, over, take out an I and two Ks without getting destroyed. So, hurrah for that. So, we're getting in there. And you can see my, uh, my, my medium ships. These guys are just filling. I don't understand this pattern. But, oh well. I love this. I absolutely love that there is a raptor from the Patriarch in here. So, what's the reason of this? We're going to be destroying all of this. And we're jumping these two fleets in here. When these two fleets get in here, they will start destroying over here. And I'm, I'm thinking there is a wolf. There must be a wolf in this system. Uh, this, of course, there's a wolf. There's one over there. Uh, there's a shipyard in here. We're going to be keeping one fleet near the shipyard. We're going to go back and we will be destroying the wolf, which is also a defensive station. And then we're going to be taking the rest out. The Patriarch will take the rest of this. And we will have some good times with it. And then it is repairing. Getting back. And taking down Argon. Where we will lose ships. You know, missiles do pack a hell of a punch. I did this. This is, this is a problem. Whenever they do this, this, this damn circle, uh, it's a problem. And these are actually the um, the guys that were defending the monitor. Yeah, I don't like this. I think it's the dumbest way to attack. Yes, you will attack from every angle, but they won't defend anymore. They will just sit on their ass over there. And if you are unlucky, you will have some issues. So, yeah. Uh, let's go back to F1. Because now we can actually see. Oh, yeah, I love that. You see that? There's the other fleet. You know what we should do is uh, let's select the station. Let's press F3. So we can actually have a good way of looking at things. Uh, we have one fleet over there with all of those guys high up. I like that they are coming from above. Usually, the Xenons, they place down those uh, large turrets at the bottom. I don't know why. So, that's one. And here is the other one. And I love that sun is amazing. It is so bright. It is so damn bright. Whenever the attack is starting, we will uh, go into like this sort of a mode. So, we can actually see uh, the fight. A bit better. What I don't like is these guys apparently go from the bottom. So that's interesting. Guess. Okay, how far are you? Go to behavior. Sink point is just a ship, a few ships out. And uh, oh, I think we're both ready to go, guys. Let's trigger this. And trigger that uh, while I get some coffee. Enjoy. <laughs> they are going in for the attack. Have some fun with that. I'll get some coffee.
Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh. oh, you can see those bolts coming in as well, right? If I change this camera, over. oh, that is way too bright. Uh, yeah, there's that dragon shooting out its plasma, and actually the Lithuanian guy's fleet. I'll have to check out your turret settings. It is, uh... Yeah, that looks good. I love it. Really like it. I'll try to stay a bit out of the side. I will fl can flip it over here as well. Uh, the rattlesnakes of the other fleet not really doing anything. I think that's a bit of a problem. But yeah, there's a lot of ships going down. We will lose a few of them. We'll have to resupply, of course, this entire fleet, but that is fine. Um, yeah, let's zoom out a bit. Uh, it, I can actually feel it, like it's not responding immediately when I'm trying to zoom out. So, <laughs> it's still lagging. You don't want to be in this fight. You you just won't. The AI will calculate where it needs to shoot. Uh, for us humans, uh, we can't do that. Okay, there we go. So, one of the rattlesnakes over there from the other one is uh, starting the engagement. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Your turrets are on, I don't give a shit. Oh, that is so cool. I have to check, what's the uh, chat actually? Is the chat going into the um, the stream as well? Uh, let me know if they are, if it is, because I didn't pay attention to that. Because if it is, yes it does. Ah, yes, I can see it. There's a bit of a delay with that. That's that's fine. That is fine. Can't change that. Oh man, I love this. Ah, look, they they they, they can't do anything against this. Not with a regular defense station, you know. So I've been thinking about that fiasco of last episode of, of last uh, stream where. Where I decided to attack with two fleets from one angle, that's that I should never do that ever again. What I should have done is the same what I've done over here. Attack from two angles. Now, you can see that it f the, the, the other fleet is, uh, the rattlesnakes are staying away. And the Lithuanian guy is just... Uh, a sandwich mode. Yeah, sandwich mode. And I can already start feeling like it's... It is uh, getting some of those frames back. I've noticed actually the um, the graphical card prices are finally starting to drop. Finally, because I'm still using a 2060. And I want to go to a 30... 3080, 3090. I have to buy two of them because my wife... Uh, well, she wants one too. And I'm, I'm, we're also going to be ordering some cabinets for in the office. That means that uh, at some point the echo, and I know there is an echo and I cannot change it, will be less. I'm going to be hanging some stuff over here in the back uh, where I can play some books because I love reading. Uh, like, let's hope the miners are finally done with cards. I know. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this station is a goner. Let's go back to F1. So, you can see that the carriers now, if we uh, let's get the hot back. The carriers are staying away. And that is amazing. I love that. That's really good. You can see that we did lose two dragons. And uh, the other one also did lose two dragons. What else did you lose? He lost seven small ships. Now, if those are the losses, if we only lost uh, seven, uh, that is nine, and we lost three over here, so that's uh, a good 11, uh, not 12. I can do math. Uh, 12 ships we lost fighting 
uh, the station, which is, you know, it's nothing. It is nothing. 12 ships for a defensive station. I like this fleet's layout a lot. I think it's time that we go here. Lithuanian guy, you are going to get yourselves an interceptor on Gamma. And these guys, oh, as well. You can do meth. <laughs> no. <laughs> meth. Um, it, how, do you, how do you call it now? Uh, mathematics. Meth. Mathematics. <laughs> uh, I, I, was, I work for the army. I can't do, can't do drugs. I won't do drugs. So that's a good thing. Don't do drugs, kids. Math. Math. Yeah, okay. It's all about pronunciation, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I love that. I really like a good laugh. Okay, so let's take a look. What do we have over here? So we currently have uh, 35 guys in the, in this fleet. Now, they will be going back. They're going to be getting the support. I suggest you will give them time. Because now... Those guys, they will need to start healing up. And it will take a while with your medium ships in order for that to happen. The Invalid Troll is still doing strong. Uh, let's go grab a monitor. You kidding me? They're all using some? Oh, come on, man. Get out. Uh, we'll go... Seda for a second. Uh, until we get those ships back, until we, you know, repair them. And they will be repaired, so for the hell of it. Uh, we'll take a look at this. When when they land, they they will they will go. I think this one is actually currently going to land. He has a waiting icon. Yeah, we can hear them all go. Um, the small ships, yeah, these these are not damaged at all. We knew this. And the other fleet was the Invalid Troll. Let us close the Epsilon fleet. Open up the Gamma fleet. Okay, these guys are repaired. No damage to these guys. That's good. Okay, beta. No damage to the medium ships. Alpha ships are fine. I believe it's actually not the invalid troll. It is the other guy. It's Q. Close Epsilon Gamma. Yeah, okay. So it will take them time to repair. It will take them some time to repair. It is good. There's, there's no problem with that. It will happen. Hopefully. I, I wish you had like a right click button and then... You know, repair... Okay, supply and resupply. Repair docked ships. Oh, now that is interesting. So we can select all of the docked ships. Ah. Uh, he will have to do that automatically. We don't have to do this manually. I've seen it happen automatically. You can see that already over here. Some of them will be getting repairs. Just give it time. Give it time. Well, uh, we let the Patriarch do whatever he feels like. Because he is the Patriarch. He is our leader. Ginger Fly High. My God, man. I've not seen you in a very long time. How have you been doing? Hopefully you're doing well. How are you, the studies, girlfriend? Uh, let's uh, get some more guys in here. Oh, we need, still need 42 of them. We'll um, resupply the fleet. I need to do yeah, that. That's close. That's good. Assigned to the Gamma fleet. I want to wait until these are all, like, repaired. And it doesn't feel like they're actually docked currently. They are docking. Or they are docked. Sink point. Is there any behavior I can change over here? Trade restriction is off. Commander setting. Use commander setting for automatic resupply is high, so they should be repairing. Yeah, man. I've missed you too, man. I really did. 
I've, I've, I've been wondering where you were and how you were doing actually because I, I, I know you're a busy guy right now because you have a job, you have your school, your educational stuff. Look, I, I'm just, just good to see you, man. Good to see you. Welcome back. Okay, we'll wait until that is done. I think they are getting repaired. I think they are getting repaired. Get the SATA on. Six, yeah, okay, they could. So they are repairing themselves quite slowly. That is not precisely what I had in mind. <laughs> so how are you doing, uh, Ginger? How are you doing? Get the camera fleet up and running. We still have 38 to go. Do we see anything very dangerous coming our way? Like some of them aren't damaged, and I can't do it like this. Kinda, I don't want to do it manually. It just feels extremely weird. And I'm not even referring to the S ships because, yeah, we have a lot. Oh, look at that! Oh, this is way better. Okay, okay. Um, sometimes this does bug out. So we can actually repair them like this, but I'm not going to be clicking 99 times. Hey, you no, know, no worries. You don't have to apologize for being you for, for having a life. You know. I'm just happy to see you back, man. I'm just happy to see you back. Uh, we've, we've, we're changing the Discord for if you are wondering where the hell everything is. Uh, let me know in the role selection which roles you like. We're going to be separating games. So we can focus on, uh, give more focus to some of the games you actually want to play. Uh, for if you, you are eventually coming back. So here we go, Gamma. Some of the Chimeras are still being 27 to go. Now, we're going to be giving the fleets a bit of time to actually repair. I don't want to lose ships. Uh, I'm still quite finding it weird that they are not repairing. Maybe there is a bit of a trigger going on, like this guy actually needs a lot of repairs. Like, why don't you repair? Waiting for a free dock. He is not yet docked. That's the problem. Uh, dock at Lithuanian guy, will you repair? Just, just show, show it man, just, come on. He's currently still flying. And this is the guy we're actually just holding on to. Over there. Trying to catch up with the rattlesnake because he just left him. <laughs> yeah, like I said, just give them some time to uh, to repair. He should be repairing them. Come on, man. Scooch. Beta. Strange. I've seen ships repair. Yeah, man, no worries. No worries about that. So, so, uh, how is how is school going, man? How is the uh, your college, right? You were now uh, doing the the college. Ginga fly high oh, Jesus, man. X two hundred. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. I'm just so happy to have you back. I'm just saying, I'm very good to see you again. So do you still work at the, uh, at your current place? Fun fact, it gets so cold in Minnesota that it won't snow. It's so cold. So it just falls down and it's frozen. <laughs> it's like an ice plate coming down. Uh, luckily for us, uh, it's it's not really, it's, it is winter, but I think it froze for three nights at, at, a, at a 
very solid negative one or maybe negative four degrees Celsius, I should not be complaining. Not be complaining at all. Okay. Well, you know what we will do is uh, I don't want to give it too much time for them to recover. So we're going to be sending this fleet. We're going to be telling you to... Okay, he's currently on patrol. I'm going to tell you to hold ship. Hold your position. Confirm that. Will this do anything in the repair? Yeah, see? Okay, now they're repairing. Now they are repairing. So they, they should be jobless. Oh, wrong button. So if you have them jobless... They repair. This guy, completely done. Okay, Lithuanian guy. You. Okay, let's uh, let's stop him from doing anything. Protect, protect, hold position. Like they don't need to be repaired. They're already there. I need to see this go up. Come on. Are you silver? Really now? Way to go, dude. Way to go. Oh, that's brilliant. I uh, I was trying to do the same thing to get a promotion, but they uh, they didn't have it. They didn't want it. Okay, that's I'm like yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, it bummed me out. Uh, I can act like I didn't care, but I definitely did not like this. Why don't you dock? Oh, that is that that that's cold, man. That's cold, but it's good to hear that you took a promotion. Where to go? Why are these guys going out? They are doing stuff. Come on, man. Just dock up. What's going on? I need them to dock up. Then I give them the order to attack. There is. There we go. The Patriarch will be building a defensive station for sure. Okay, while that's going on, there's actually a lot of fighting currently. And this is what I don't like. Is while they are in this circle, they they will not defend themselves anymore. And I think that's a problem. I think the, uh, the intercept guy should not be in the circle. Negative uh, 50 Fahrenheit with a wind chill. Are you giving me goosebumps? <laughs> uh, you're giving me goosebumps. Oh, dude. Oh, damn. Ah, oh, that is not good, man. That is not good. Okay, how is life going on over here? Yeah, I know. That's a negative 45. That's my... I wouldn't even open up my door anymore. I will call my work and I'm like, yeah. No. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> not having it. Sorry. Sorry, sir. I'm staying in today. Not having it. Come on, man. Build, build the station somewhere, please. Okay, so they did take care of it. Uh, where's, there's the Raptor. Here is uh, one of their resupply ships. Let's uh, let's get to one of those... Dr not the dragon. I don't want to be on a dragon. Let's go to this rattlesnake. Let's teleport to it. 45, man. That is just sick. That is just sick. That's just a Monday. Oh, wow. Really? How bad is it going to be? I've actually noted that there should be a cinematic mode. And I don't know how I triggered it. Um, but there was this one time where I was just watching what was going on like this. And it started to go into, I don't know, like switching cameras and, and stuff like that. I'm still hoping to ever trigger that again. Maybe it's in the options. Let's go to settings, controls, general, weapons, modes. Is there a cinematic mode?
change camera mode. Interesting. Okay, let's give that a go. No, I don't really see it. And there's a bit of a fight going on. I'm thinking we need to trigger this one. Texas is a state of emergency for like zero Fahrenheit. Um, if it, um, like, and, and no joke here, like, if it snows for two or three centimeters, there is a, uh, a bit of a state of emergency in the Netherlands as well. <laughs> hey, Angelo, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the stream, and hopefully you are having a wonderful time. Uh, we're quite late into the campaign. We currently have a free fleet. Uh, we are... We're taking back... We're taking back for our wonderful Patriarch, which has been definitely a bit of a struggle. Uh, we actually had to take these two back already. And I was able to defend the family Jin before it fell. So we're currently waiting for this to trigger while we're building up the Lithuanian guy's fleet. As well with some more interceptors. So yeah, uh, I'd say we do we do okay. Like we 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 are all anticipating like the new DLC. Like I want to wrap this up. So we're going to be starting with these two. Then we're going to be taking on the Argon, and then we're going to be continuing with the split mission. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be enjoying that quite a bit. Uh, we'll be sending a fleet over here, here, and here, and then we'll just start giving them a bit of trouble will it happen this stream no maybe not yeah we'll be streaming again tomorrow around the same time as well as tomorrow evening and then way into the my 5 a.m my 5 a.m not american 5 a.m my 5 a.m currently it's 10 past 8 so i'm in uh, i'm in the, in the netherlands so that is uh, a bit of, uh, is it what what plus one gmt Oh, make me a general. Captain Redbeard. Um, I, I can make you a fleet. I will make you Captain Redbeard's fleet. How about that? We'll make a, fir a, a fourth fleet. Uh, we need more fleets anyways, because uh, Argon. Argon will be rough. I don't like it takes forever. Currently, there is two ships... Who cares about two ships? Go, trigger. Here we go. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll stay with this guy. You can see all of those fighters going. <clears throat> ah, works for you. Ah, okay, I will make that. <laughs> okay, that's, that, that's central attack. I like that. Let's go to F3 on the, uh, on the station if possible. There you go. I like that. Here we go. So, Angela, how long have you been playing the game? What do you think is... Uh, what do you think they should change? And what are you hoping will be added with, of course, the next DLC? And I'm thinking... God, looking back at uh, Cradle of Humanity, uh, looking back at Split Vendetta, it's going to be next month. About 30 days from now, like like actually a month, the 4th, the, the 14th, somewhere in the region of the 10th till the 16th of um, March. I will lose some more ships uh, this time because we are currently only attacking it with one fleet. Or like, if it's a fleet, can I be... The fleet of lost souls. Hey, it works for me, mate. It's up to you. Okay, apparently they shot each other, which is uh, not what we want. It's not good for insurance. I did. I did see. I've been watching uh, Larry Monty uh, playing uh, Distant Worlds Universe because I quite like... The oh, that, 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 this one's going to die. Okay, what's up with this? What well, They should have changed this. He's going to die. There is no way he will survive... Uh, we're actually looking for 
plasma bolts heading over there. Even the split you there's something in my eye. <laughs> it's so annoying. And you could say yes, your finger, get it out. Yeah, I know. Ah, I love Larry. And he's streaming in a lot. Unfortunately, there's not times where I can actually, like, watch. Uh, to destroy it, uh, I destroyed K Destroyer using 20 tracking mines releasing in high speed. Whoa, that is so cool. All damage. Uh, pause. <laughs> Because my ship's getting getting pounded and I don't want to die. Ah, uh, you're still okay. Okay, go here. Teleport to. Yeah, I, I don't want to go like being spaced and killed. Okay, you are way too close. You are way too close at this. Okay, what's the damage? Okay, 25% on the hull. Rattlesnake has been destroyed. I think we just bailed out. But that is such a crazy good tactic. Yeah, this game is crazy good. This game is absolutely crazy good. There's so many different things to do. I uh, Usually, I... Uh, for me, I just get my dragon. And uh, just, just jump right on top of it. Just take out all of the guns. And just, just sit on my ass. Uh, will this to be to be multiplayer? If you know, um, I don't think so. I don't think Explosion Distant in. Worlds Two will be multiplayer. Yeah, okay. We lost a lot of ships this time. That's fine. We'll have to rebuild. Then it's not that expensive. Like we need to keep stuff going. Uh, the most important thing about the fleets are, of course, the rattlesnakes. Yeah, I've, I, I agree. There's, there's most likely not going to be a... Uh, there we go. So, Dominion has been taken out, which is good. How is this going? They're still trying to dock up the medium ships, which for some reason actually takes him forever. Yeah, that is sad. I agree. That is actually sad. Let's close you up. Okay, it seems like we are getting there. It, it just takes forever for them to dock. And I'm... What is going on here? Uh, waiting for a free dock. Okay, which one is... Okay, so he's actually still queuing up. That's good. That is really good. How many Chimeras are still there? Uh, these are the final two. We will uh, resupply those fleets starting with the Rattlesnake we lost. Uh, working our way up. So yeah, from, yeah, I agree, man. This game is crazy good. And I'm looking so forward to what they will bring... Uh, to the future. Game it is holy shit, dude. X500. Dude. Been subscribed for nine months, I found out. Yeah, you did. You subscribed for nine months. Holy crap, man. Thank you so much for the bits. I oh, man, it's been it's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I, absolutely thank you. Thank you a lot. Yeah, third place. Jesus. Well, way to go. Way to go. Uh shipyard. Build. Uh large. Buffalo Freighter, no, Rattlesnake, uh, Shake, Rattlesnake, and Roll was uh, the name that we decided upon last time, confirm that order, standard mine should work when I release high speed or when hiding in the rear, hmm, yeah, I, I quite, I, I, have a, I, have, I have a love, hate relationship with mines, mines are really, really, really annoying for me, I've been blown up by my own mines for so many times, times it's actually quite you know i'm ashamed of the fact i'm ashamed of the fact that i got blown up by my own minds but you know it's the truth it's the honest truth guys it is i am an idiot 
Okay, let's get these guys in, which uh, should be the final, final guys. Let's not get my Dominion guy in here. You go to Gamma, assign two. So he's done. Uh, we need, by the looks of it, three. Okay, that's 14, and three is 17. 17 medium build, medium dragon fleet. 17. Uh, when that's done, we'll look into those uh, interceptors. Actually, we don't have to. Uh, we'll lose some more ships. That is perfectly fine. Uh, Lithuanian guy. Coordinate an attack over there. Now, this guy, the uh, Scourge, you are going to be, uh, once again, you're going to be defending uh, protect position. Ah, always do that wrong. Protect, position, select that, then select over here, confirm that, which is good. Uh, we need to be changing a global orders, because we have a blacklist, which has the uh, Dominion one. We can now remove that. Uh, we're going to be confirming the changes. We will see my own ships. No longer will have to go through open market, through Dominion 4, into this one. No, they will now start to go into here. And we'll wait until the Patriarch will actually get a, uh, a hold again. You can see all of those ships now going over there. Um, 933 minutes, nice cash. Endless opportunities. So true. So true. I've not, not used my money for anything, actually, other than... There you go. I have a lot of stations. So, for those of you who don't know, um, I found a list. I found a spreadsheet on, on the internet, which I will open up. I'm still working on it. I'm uh, adjusting it to, you know, be up to date. It's a work in progress because I just want to play the game as much as anyone else. So, let me get my, my spreadsheet game in here, uh, which is that one. Let's get my... Uh, My thing back. Here we go. So, I've been working with this list, which is giving me a good indication on my own empire. We're currently making 26, almost 27,000 hull parts per hour. These are, this is all per hour. Uh, I'm still debating if we should probably increase the engine parts as well as the hull parts. So, yeah, uh, it just works. It, I, I've had it, I have it up on my Discord. Uh, just uh, request the X4 Foundation, uh, X4 Universe, or the X Universe. Uh, I will try updating it. There's a few things I need to add, um, which is uh, still uh, the foods. The foods, and I need to change how this, the population goes. It's, um, I will go make this into one category. Which will make it a bit easier. Stimulants, all of this. All, 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 everything you change up here is... Uh... No, no, this, this is... Uh, is this... Yeah, this is real time, dude. <laughs> it's, it's real time. This game is real time. This, uh, let me close this off again. So if you want the uh, spreadsheet, which you... But there's a current... I have 314 modules. You can just change the number over here and it will change... Say the energy. If I have it over here, it will change over there as well. So say I had 30 of these. It will change that. It will change over here. It will calculate how much I need. So don't need that. Uh, let's lower it. Roll it. This game is real time. And currently this save is 16 days and 14 hours long. And I've played for... 1077 hours and I wished and I honestly wished that these guys would not attack the station why do you do that why are you attacking this one are you on an attack no you're a yeah you're the monitor's defense that is so dumb why do you do that Interesting. So we uh, we got this back. 
Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> I have no life. No, no life for you. Uh, these guys are just uh, waiting until these get back. Let's take a look at this fleet. Wait, did we lose ships? Ah, uh, we lost a few of them. Ah, uh, we got finally got one million over here in this terraforming project. How is this going? Yeah, we, we, I'm very certain we are... Some skill plate pirate is doing that. Yeah, no life, I know. Nice Pritchett, what's faster way to in, uh, improve relations with affection? I'm using 10. Nvidia minus right now. Uh, shoot criminals is the fastest way to improve relation. However, uh, every point you improve your relation on will need more improvement. So using those 10 Nvidia minus uh, is nice. I'm thinking you, um, it's probably easier to assign a few trade ships to support their economy or mining ships to go uh, do uh, ore mining, silicon mining. Have you made tutorial vi uh, videos or uh, I, all I can say, look, there is uh, one guy I love in particular playing this game and that is the Rugged Gamer. Uh, the Rugged Gamer has uh, been amazing. I love what he's been doing. It's uh, very clear. He has a full campaign explaining you everything. You can also watch my entire streams, but I know that it's... We'll, we'll restart a campaign when the new DLC hits. We'll be playing. And like I said, I play with rules, guys, because I'm, I'm an idiot. I play with rules. To uh, make sure that, uh, to, to keep my game interesting for me, because I get really bored really fast. Come on, start building the, uh, the station somewhere, come on, do that. Let's go close this off, this is Rattlesnake, are you done? No, he's currently building. I uh, will get there. When this fight is done, it's just this system. It is just that system. Both of these fleets will be rep uh, will be defending this position. And I'm not going to be removing my defensive stations, but their likeliness to see combat is really drastically drop. Uh, but um, Angela, I would go with mining. So sector mining. I've done that over here as well. I assigned mining ships to uh, mine. Just, just looking at trade, you know. Um, they need... So they sell water. Okay, nice. But where's the other one? There's an ore refinery over here. Currently, they don't buy ore. So, but they are selling a lot of refined metals. Put on a repeat order. Buy refined metals up to a price of, say, 90. And just tell them to sell in maybe ravine. Let's take a look. Refined metals. Here you go. We'll buy... 4,000 refined metals for 158. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, where else? What else do we have? Let's make it a bit easier. That, let's just click this. You can see that they are selling for 128, while they are selling here for 71, 22,000 of each. So, you have a mining ship doing all for this station. Get yourselves a trade ship doing a repeat order. Buy from this station or buy from uh, an area to uh, sell in all of the other areas. Just drop some satellites. You can see that it, it also is buying a small amount over there. But usually it's where those dogs are. I don't have any, uh, any satellites over here so I can't show you. That will get your... Uh, relationship up quite quite fast it wasn't long that i had three families at i believe you started with negative five so your, your your trading ships will dock they won't shoot you and i think it's 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 the best way to do it taladi is going up because i'm trading with them as well you we were not natural enemies of them you know the fallen families have not yet i've not found them they probably are somewhere. Um, but I think that is the fastest way to, one, 
improve your relationship, and two, get cash. Ah, oh, we love cash. Just, just make sure you you do the basic commodities. And with basic commodities, everything that's a four, uh, buy graphene and sell it. Buy refined metals and sell it. Buy silicon wafers and sell it. Superfluid coolant, not the best. And uh, antimatter cells, you just don't even get bothered with that. It's it's uh, it's 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 nothing. Absolutely nothing. So just let that relationship go over time, which is uh, perfect. Add in progress. I will uh, hold on here for a second. Let me uh, sip my coffee. Sorry for the ad there, it, it's automatic. Uh, I, yes, I did install it myself. One of the other cool things that uh, you can use to uh, to make money is... Um, Stel, say, look, there's a lot of loot in here. Well, we know why, because we're shooting the station. But say you have an AI you don't particularly need to be friendly with. And you see him building a station. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's a lot of juicy materials in there. Start shooting the build storage. The items will drop like this. Just make sure you have a, a trade ship there to pick up the loot. And usually you will not get your relationship that low to deal with it. Trading is now imp uh, uh, is now improving relations. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. But it, it was used. It, it did do trade improve relationship later uh, in the previous thing as well. I, I started my Terran run. No, no worries. I started my Terran run with a... How is it called again? What's it, the name? A protein paste trade ship. And it was making good money. And it was making me a good relation as well. Uh, train over uh, one thing I noticed. It's, uh, if you're stealing blueprints, first note usually gives you... Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's just... The, it's... Um, nah, it... Uh, it's not completely true. Uh, yeah, you will indeed. You will get the uh, the trade license with that station. You're right. You're right. Uh, but do you want to, you know, do that with all of the stations? I, I don't care for ten million. Ten million is nothing. Nothing. It's a joke. No. <laughs> okay, come here. Defend. Uh, protect. Protect the position. Over here as well, confirm that. There we go. I'm starting as a female Project Genesis. Oh, which is a good one. I love that campaign. Oh yeah, that, that that's really annoying. It go go build. Yeah, that's that's true. That's true. Ten million is nothing for me. I don't need billions. I don't need billions. I'm I'm not letting the game like run when I'm not there. I don't do that. Uh, I just when I'm, I'm sometimes I'm just having a good time and I'm sitting playing this game. We're not streaming, right? Like I I enjoy this. I enjoy the the small sounds and it's it's such a fantastic game. Uh, this rattlesnake can go over here. I'm losing track of my thing again. I'm I'm working on my uh, really. Did you actually lose all of your medium? Lithuanian man, you lost all of your medium ships. What the hell? Why? Why did you do that? You only lost one Chimera. I think you need to get your prior priorities straightened, man. Honestly, honestly, losing the mediums over the small ships? Questionable decision. As as a captain, I'm I'm holding you personally responsible for it. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I know. No worries, man. No worries. Uh, I was busy. <laughs> I was busy. Oh, man. Still, we, uh, we destroyed that energy station. Uh, we're going to be pushing onwards. Uh, we got the rattlesnakes. Like I said, those are the most important. They are still building dragons. And uh, we'll let that go for now. I think it's time. Uh, let's wait. What are these? Oh, mining ships. Good. Uh, am I at a desk? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, let's get to the capital ship. Let's just go over here. Teleport to. There we go. Uh, Angela, does do, do I, did, did I give enough answers about how to get that relationship up? Because personally, the one thing I would go for is get a mining ship. Get a mining ship and do sector auto mining. Or if you can't sell anything, because I know how it goes with the Terrans. If you want to go with a Terran, you set it to auto mine over here in Saturn 2. And then you will just have to sell that, which is, you know, annoying until you get like uh, the better... Uh, mining, the yeah, ex uh, expert mining, something like that. But I love the trading stuff. Like, you can do get, get the energy cells from over here because that's a great system, and then sell it everywhere. And I, I had like five or sh uh, six ships running doing that trade. You know how repeat orders work, right? Uh, if you don't, let me know. Because uh, I can definitely do that as well. Man, that ship is loud. Money comes first in the beginning. That's, that's definitely like like a, a... You got a very good ship. You, you got a destroyer, which is great. And you, you will get those turrets. Just uh, do do missions uh, will help as well. Missions will probably give you one relationship every time you finish it. And I did lower the game due to its traveling. What are you? What do you look at this? What are you going to do, man? Power distribution. I think they're going to be building. Come on, Patriarch, are you silver? <sighs> also, when stealing ships, always try to capture yourself, not a marine. True, I'm, I'm still getting the basics in that as well. I usually just use marines. If you, you, if you are using marines, put their entry at very, very strong or something like that. I believe that you don't need to damage the ship then. Just uh, get a whole bunch of marines and just throw them at it. What are you doing over here? I think they aren't. They were subordinates. I think they were subordinates. Look at this, man! All of these dragons. Ugh, it's a dragon graveyard. Okay, so that is done. Uh, what else? We need a lot more dragons. Yeah, we need to uh, get more hull parts done. Uh, it's time. It is time. Let's let's get into this system. I want you to uh, both hold position. Confirm that. And you both get over here. Attack targets in range. I think that is the uh, the best way to do it. We're not boarding. Uh, sorry, when claiming free or build ships out. Yeah, it's a it's a good way. Like if you like when doing the um, the Terran agent missions from the Terran cadet, it's quite good to get that that uh, crew member. Uh, I'm in trouble. I forgot to tell my woman I made it home. Oh yeah, you screwed, man. Rip. No, uh, thank you so much, man. Go, go, make up with your wife. Go make up with your wife or with your girlfriend. 
your woman just uh go make up that's that's a, to, it's it's the four, 14th today over here like you know valentine's day so uh, i actually had something my wife didn't expect that i usually don't do that sort of stuff <laughs> i don't i'm not rom romantic strangely enough are you kidding me? You're going to be delivering the parcel between half past six and half past ten. No. No, 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 no. I need to change that. That's way too late. That is way too late. I'm hoping it's going to be a bit earlier in the evening. Uh, I tried that heavy dumb cluster missile and I wonder what's the point of this missile. Uh, it's it's a heavy dumb cluster missile. It goes in a straight line and it clusters up. I don't use them. Personally, I like smart missiles. Uh, why smart missiles is they will not go uh, after flares. And they're guided. I like guided missiles. Uh, yeah, I'm using repeat errors for most of, but simply I can't... More watch the Xenon destroy Antigon bases. So I find everything in the void sector. Yeah, I know. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah. Go head out. Thank you so much for the bits. It's been great having you back, uh, the Ginger. It's been good seeing you. Go make up with your wife. And uh, have a great, great, great time. Time. Yeah, I know how it felt, you know. That's why we uh, we started the um, the Patriarch campaign. I just could not bear seeing the Patriarch being destroyed. And it was a hard and difficult time. Absolutely. But we did manage it. So, perhaps you should uh, get those uh, some blueprints for large weapons. Personally... Just get a disc, defensive disc. Get plasma turrets on that thing. And whatever medium you want, doesn't really matter. Medium weapons don't do anything against uh, Xenon case at all. So get uh, plasma weapons because they do pack the most punch. And K, the, these Ks are, are slow, right? They come in. And they go slow and they start going up because of the weapons they have at the front, those two weapons. And while they are doing that, make sure that you are in your ship just taking out those cannons. Just build that defensive station up. Build it at a place where they would hate you the most. <laughs> I did. I did. They, they were coming in from over, like in here. And I built it right at their doorstep. Right at their doorstep. And there is uh, 104 large plasma turrets. I don't have to take care of this at all. When that station was done, I could relax. You cannot beat the Xenon with one ship. You need a station for it. And every time they jump out, this is the first thing they will target because it's nearest to the gate. They won't go there. I am closest. That's what they target. So they will go here and they will get their ass kicked, which I approve of. And let's take a look. I got one over here as well. That's the second one. Then I decided, well, it is time that we go deal with this. And you can see there's a lot, a lot of Xenon ships. A lot of Xenon ships. And these stations, they cost me 11 million to make. But they saved this campaign. They absolutely saved. Because we uh, did, this was the one of these, these systems. If that go, if that went out, it was done. And for you, you have your own, your own plan in the game, right? So that's going to be amazing. Just, just start building slowly on a defensive base, and make sure, just make sure, like I'm doing over here, this Crimera. And I think you can see that over there somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm pointing right now, but it's a it is collecting drops. This one is collecting drops at all my defensive stations. And currently, we just got it, right? 
Uh, how much did I collect right now? Like, there's not much anymore because we took all of those systems. It's currently adding 45 items in its inventory. And we just made 83 million from selling the stuff he has in its inventory. 83 million. And you will get relation uh, relations for destroying Xenon. Get the police license. Oh yeah, get the police license. If you don't have the police license, get the police license. Not because you can police the sector, no, because you will get paid a hell of a lot more from taking out criminals. A hell of a lot more. I probably don't have to, you know, tell you. You probably found that out as, as well. Is It is a lot of money. Where are these guys? What are, what's going Oh, they are repairing. Yeah, until you reach that point... Uh, you can use EMP. Yeah. Use an EMP uh, bomb on a disc. We'll get you the disc. However, you cannot get the weapons. You will need to buy the weapons. And uh, If you just buy a large, large plasma and a medium weapon, like flag or anything, and a shield. Make sure you have a shield on that. Save up. Gather the resources you need at, so, at some point. You know, it, it's a good way to, to, to make some... What is it that I want and how will I achieve that goal? I do it the same way. I actually started with a built storage station. And that built storage is uh, what I was buying in. What I, This is what I needed to, buy, to build myself that defensive station. So I would fill this up and then I planned the construction and I started pushing all of these materials over there, all of them. And that large ship that will help you construct will also defend and you will sit there just hovering. Hopefully they won't attack me. Hopefully they won't attack me. And when that disc is done, when those weapons are on, you can actually like breathe like, okay, whew, whew, that's nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so we're jumping over. I really am curious about the sector. There's a defensive base neck uh, uh, behind me. Take your bearings. We can also just take this uh, raptor and do a um, yeah right battle defensive bases. You don't need like okay um like if I go here figure station like this is my this is my defensive base. It doesn't need to be this big, you know. You probably can do with half of it. Like I, I like it because this is how the split works. Like these have these, but if you have like you have this triangle discus discs. Just get one, two, three, like four, maybe five discs in there. Most likely enough to deal with a K. I'm not talking about I destroy, because the destroy I are just uh, horrible. Yeah, this is uh, something I don't have it yet. I believe this is where the research stuff comes. Also, the welfare. There's something called welfare going into the game. But this is just, they just jump in here, and I just build it as close as possible to the base. It's not uh, directly lined up. It, it does work. But, yeah, and, and you can probably, that's the problem, you don't have 20 relationships, damn. Um, problem is you can't buy large weapons, because you need 20, 20 relationships for that. Wow. Yeah, actually, I got two docks. The defensive drones, they work really well now. 
Uh, they were, they, I think they actually tuned it down a bit because it was just going like crazy. But uh, start with one ring. A docking place where you can just sit yourself and a ring and then another ring and another ring. You don't have to make it too long. Like you can be very compact and still have a very good defense. But yeah, those Ks, as soon as those K destroyers cannot enter the void, um, the anti-gun will be able to keep up. They will be able to do it. Yeah, it's a nice start. And it doesn't cost you as much. Unfortunately, you will need 20 relation. Yeah, because you cannot buy uh, those blueprints. Okay, so we got two fleets. And we already noticed that there is... Something in there. You know what we'll do? Let us go to my own personal dragon. We'll fly over here. So let's give him the order to fly and wait over there. Let's uh, get get out, get out, get get out. Oh, so hard to find good help these days. Such a while, long time since I've actually been uh, flying in my own uh, stations. Engaged. The missions do work. I think the missions might be might be the best one, the easiest one. Yeah, it's it's a rough one. Oh. Have you been modifying your ship? Have you been modifying it? Did you uh you, you got the player own station, right? Just get weapon mods. Entering Vioxx Dominion ten. Yeah, you need the blueprints first, yeah, but you need to get to a plus 20 relation. Uh, get a police license, that's one. It's 125,000, I believe, or 150,000. That will also increase the relations you get from killing Xenon. Unlock the weapon, the weapon modifications from the research. And... Let's take a look, you. Ship overview. Like, I have weapon modifications on here, right? These are level 3, these are... I think I have also level 1s. These actually, the level 1s... Are... The easiest... Entering to get. One. Let's close this off, let's go to... Equipment, that should be in here. See? So these towers, this level 1 modification... Gives me plus 50 damage. Yeah, okay, the weapon cooling is going down. But that 50 damage... Like, this this dragon hits as hard as a large ship. And I can take down... Uh, just take down the weapons from a K. Just destroy them. And that will actually help as well. And you can mine that ship if you want to. Sure, go for it. But it's expensive. You still need to... You, you need to use money to do that. Personally, I always use one ship to do my work. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, we need 14 over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 11. Attack with Commander Beta. Yeah, uh, approach from the top, you take down the medium turrets at the back, you 
go to the side, you take out the two medium turrets at the sides, and then you start moving. I have hundreds of dispersal items of bombs. Mods, I must research. This is a modification in HQ. Yeah, and they will keep going. It will keep... That, will, that, that That's the main issue. They They improved... Look, there is a reason... There is a reason that Morningstar 3 and Argon Prime are no longer from Argon. Neither is Hatikva's choice. Argon has been almost destroyed and they will rebuild like they have the trade station over here that's probably the wharf and the uh, the shipyard in the one of these two systems Argon got his ass kicked quite drastically by the Xenon that saved my campaign because they were so focused on Argon I was able to build my defensive stations but sometimes you need to instead of defending uh, like the void you might want to start building defenses at the next system. So instead of building it over here, you might want to build it like over here, or you might want to build it in Argon's Memorial, or perhaps you want to build it in the Asteroid Belt. For when these systems fall, they will start to attack that, and you will have a secure position. Uh, ideally, yes, the Void. Ideally, you want to build that defensive station right over here. And if it's two discs, hey, as long as you can defend it, if you can help, you will get um, 600,000. When you have the police license and you attack a destroyer K and destroy it by yourself, you will get 600,000 credits and relationship. So that, that's more than half a million. So as long as you're there and you attack it, you will get money and items. So police license. The way to go. Okay, my guys are over here. So, did I make it? Yeah, okay. Go long range scanner. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, get those defensive discs up, but don't don't forget, get that police license to help you with that financial if difficulties that you're having. Okay, where's that? Where's that? The bloody defensive uh, base. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Before we start moving our ships, let's set guidance over there. Um. Yeah. Like the burst ray is nice. Uh, it just just get get the weapons that are available. All will work when you modify them. All your weapons will work. And you want more, you, you can, if you have a defensive disc to deal with the hull damage, uh, definitely do it. Yeah, this is definitely a wharf. Yeah, there is a wharf here. A shipyard, sorry. Stop. I think we need to attack that one first. Because they will start pooping out K destroyers and I destroyers. I don't want that. And there is way more stations in here than I gave them credit to. You do want to explore the systems you're in. Uh, I'm thinking there's going to be several defensive ones. 
because this is the um, their main hub. This is where they have everything. Yeah, they're starting to pip out uh, fighters, like drones. Drones really, and there's a lot. Oh my, there is so many of them. But we do want to deal with this uh, station first. Uh, we don't have to care about the wolf. This is just defensive. That is okay. Pause the game for a second, please. Set guidance over here. When there, there's probably another way. No, no, we have it. We have. The, we know the wolf is over there. <sighs> but that was uh, that was quite a mean fight we had to do. Uh, so I'm thinking we want to have all the fleets over here. We'll attack. I've, okay, shipyard or wolf? Let me know right now. There's another station over here. Solar power plant. That's handy. Take out. Yeah. I agree. Okay, travel mode. Okay. Uh, I decided to use the Callus Fighters with the four stars. Ooh, nice. Okay. That is really good. Um, unfortunately, due to my own, like, rules in this game, I cannot do that. But that would, I, if I'm, when I'm doing the next one, I will not have those rules for me. Okay, so what we will do is you will stop this. Let's take a look. Um, behavior, hold position. Confirm that. Okay, how is my ships doing? What, what's, what do we have? Like, I can build these dragons, but that's not going to help. We're going to be doing it like this. We're going to have one fleet, this fleet. Fly over here. Fly over there. This fleet. Fly over here. Uh, fly over there. Then you, the Lithuanian guy. Fly over there. We will attack this from all angles. Because I don't want to repeat what happened last time, quite frankly. And I'm in Seda, flying in Seda, yeah. Because these ships are a bit slow. Oh, uh, Terran ships are amazing. Terran ships are the Asgard. Oh dear. That is such a bloody good ship. Okay, so here is the, um, the monitor. And we have the Lithuanian guy over at this angle. These guys are probably gathering subordinates. Now, there will be more small and medium ships going through this. There's two defensive stations in this area right now, so we don't have to worry about it. They always build two. So that's good. Let us remove this guidance. They, they will just sit here. They will going to be surrounding this. Actually, I want you from over this angle. Uh, we're going to be staking close to the Raptor because it will actually defend me. Not good enough. 
Actually, we'll go to a monitor. Why a monitor? They have multiple medium docking bays. And you just need to find one of them. They usually... Where are you? There you go. I, I'm disappointed about the Terran side of industry, personally. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm still hoping they will add more industry for the Terrans. Because there's basically just five or six different stations you will be building. But the sheer amount of silicon is not funny. Okay, let's take a look. How is this all going? How does it look? Um, let's get the SATA on. Now, okay, it won't. It will still be quite a long time before they actually get to the right position. Um, let's close this. You still need three dragons. We'll do it like this, so I can actually take a look. Yeah, three dragons. That's done. Then the Lithuanian guy, they need a buttload of them. Uh, that's gone, that is done. We have one, two, three, four of them. Let's unpause. Because we have to wait for the other fleet. I don't want to do this with less than one. Maybe Terran ships are made purely for the uh, superconductors and transporters. Yeah. Still, it's... Um... Oh, wow. You, the Terran Cadet start is one of my most favorite starts in this game. I love that. That story is, is great. You know, that story is absolutely fantastic. Close you off, Lithuanian guy, I'm going to give you... Wait, what? Here you go. Assigned to. Can you play the Terran story? Yes! Uh, I think so. I, I Actually, I don't know. I, I would assume that, like, Del Basta will give you the information. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure. I am not sure. If, if that is the case, then playing as a Terran would probably give you more options. Because you can do all of the main missions. I would assume you would be able to do it. It is a secret agent mission, though. Uh, Gip, Gip, I won't text and drive this time. Don't, don't text and drive, mate. Please, be careful. I don't want to be responsible for you having an accident. We're going to be building 26 more dragons. So we'll start with uh, 16. And we'll add 10. There you go. There we go. And uh, rest fuse. I have a big question. How can I automate missile resupply for, fr for destroyers and frigates? Can I use repeat orders? There will be difficult repeat orders because you will be constantly on the move. What you need, and it is expensive. So I would probably not advise you to use missiles on any ship you are not 
uh, you're not uh, flying. What you need is a resupply ship. Of course, you can use like the repeat orders, but you'll. Hmm. What you need is a resupply ship, like a monitor. And that resupply ship, just make sure it's in the same fleet. And it will go to the monitor. And it will have those missile components in here. It's difficult to see. There's missile components. Uh, make sure that the behavior, the trade behavior is set to whatever you fancy. And that you make sure that everything is set to the maximum amount. Uh, can you use an ally resupply ship? Oof. Uh, I've, I, to be honest, I've never tried. But I think you should be able to do it. Because you can repair, if you can repair it, then you can probably resupply. Like, you don't need 20 relationship for that. Yeah, I, I have two BOAs with them. These two. And also, because I don't have any restrictions, the other factions will resupply these ships. This is also one of the targets I need to take uh, care of. I'll, I'll give it a go if you can resupply, but, but I don't think that um, repeat orders are going to be helpful to you in this uh, this 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 thing. Okay, so that fleet's coming in from above. This from the side. Fuanian invalid troll. What are you doing, man? Come on. Get those ships. Awaiting orders. I think we are going to be attacking with these two fleets. It is... Dangerous because that, that this is also a defensive station. So yeah, we'll lose a lot of them. Um, let's pause here. Coordinate an attack. Coordinate an attack. We're attacking from two angles, which hopefully is going to do the trick. Uh, it seems that the uh, the other fleet is in here. Meaning, I want you to organize the attack from over that angle. We don't have to care about that K, right? There is a K in there. Forget it. Don't don't worry about it. Just just let them go. Yeah, we'll lose we'll lose some rattlesnakes here and there. You know, it's unfortunate, but it is just the way it is. Kind of need him to uh, go deal with this. I'll remove this one order. Okay, how is this? Uh, how is Lithuanian doing? Let's see. Ah, that's not a whole bunch. Ah, that is just just a few of them. I'm not going to care about this. Yeah, he's down. He's down. It's out. He's gone. We lost one of them. It's just fine. Remove this. Well, start moving. They're interested. Okay, never mind. Wait, pause. Uh, that's not the option I need. Remove this order. Tech targets in range. You're going to be defending me then. It's fine. You. 
We're calling subordinates. Don't do that. Just coordinate the attack. Then... My group Alpha. Attack this K. Wait, stop. Wrong group. Removal orders. They uh, they should still do their work. This is the invalid troll. Yeah, the, 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 the shielding is absolutely disgusting. Get rid of these two. Attack. It's cute. Okay. Um, we need to stop this. That we're going to be removing all orders. And we're going to be coordinating attack. So that will all trigger again. He's going to be... We're calling it subordinates, which I don't necessarily don't actually want. Once that K is gone, it's it's gone. Those those rattlesnakes are coming in. We'll lose some ships. That is fun. Yeah, it, it has one shield, but it has a buttload of firepower. It would have been nice if we had another circle over here. A lot of attack drones in here. It might be that these guys are going to be on the offensive first. And I don't want them to finish another large ship, to be honest. Get rid of this. They're all getting in there. That K is still alive? Wait, what? What? Do the right fleet. Come on, guys, take care of this. This is this is this is not how it's supposed to be going. All right, it's starting to get damage. Not enough, though. Yeah, we'll lose another rattlesnake. That's sad. Sad times. Invalid troll. Stop. Attack this. Stop this. Go. Everyone go. 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 Attack it. Whatever you do, attack it. Okay, I think I want to order the strike. Trigger that. Trigger that as well. Go. Attack it. Uh, let's undock. Yeah, you, you can definitely swap it. But the main batteries, yeah, they're split only. And it's the same for, for all of the other uh, things as well. It's auto save. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll actually uh, survive the assault. Problem is with the rattlesnakes, they might not focus on the shipyard. No. Okay, stop. The invalid troll is uh, has dealt with its threat. So we're going to be telling it to do the same thing. And we're just going to be telling it to uh, attack. 
And I need to dock up again, but I'm going to let the AI do it because there will be a lot of lag. So this dragon. Dock and wait. While we jump to... Where shall we jump to? Jump towards this guy. He will be a bit more in the back. That's fine. Still a rattlesnake, so it's good. It's a good ship. Solid ship. Ooh, wow. Okay, in movement, very, very difficult right now. It's slow. Let's uh, get that shipyard in our range. Uh, Pars F3. Let's take a look what's going on right now. See, the rattlesnakes are just mainly now focusing on fighters, and they will be doing that for quite a while. So there's all of those flag turrets going. And I recently lost almost all of my fleets to this. So my hope is actually set on the other fleet that is going in. From the bottom. I'm having all my hopes set up on these guys. Because I'm hoping they will be able to start destroying the station. Yeah, I know, right? But once you've played this and once you get the hang of it. And it is just so fun. So much fun. Uh, so, yeah, we will probably lose all of the small and medium ships. Because this dock still not getting hit at all. And its storage is massive. So there we got some fights over there. Where's my other fleet? Come on, guys. Get in here. Should be a bunch of rattlesnakes heading this way. That's that's a defensive station. I'm sure we should be in from that angle. Which would actually be perfect. Are they over here? No. See all of these drones. Well it's it, it, uh, looking at this. It's, uh, it actually only has two discs, which makes it less a problem than the, uh, the ship, um, the wolf. The wolf actually has three or four of them. Uh, it was quite a bit of an issue to deal with last time. Because my rattlesnakes just get way too preoccupied with the, um, with the smaller ships. What's this guy doing? Come on. Yeah, they're following him. He is going to attack. How about we do it like this? Okay, stop this bullshit. Let's go here. Coordinate it. We will coordinate it. All of the ships will start beelining over there. Probably yes. But there is a but. A massive one. It's um, since there is... Oh, yes! Oh, yeah, look at that. Those rattlesnakes are starting to finally fire upon this. Oh, we don't see any ship being built. So, uh, all of those dragons get done. Yeah. Daka daka. Love it. Absolutely love it. But there's so many ships in here that when I'm flying my own ship, there's so many, so much lag. I can't be. There's another explosion over there. 
And I should be seeing the uh, the very first ships coming in from this angle. And I say should be. We keep those explosives on. Oh yeah, that goes really nicely. This is going quite good. Yeah, true. No, that is so sad, I know. It would have been so perfect to be able to attack them. So true. Okay, there's some ships coming in. Here's some ships coming in. Okay, let's uh, jump towards this rattlesnake. Let us teleport to. Uh, can we teleport to, please? Let me teleport towards. Mm. No, 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 no. Okay, pause. Like I said, a lot of lag. Teleport to. I want to be close and personal in this fight. I won't be steering any of the ships, but hey, it still will be a fight. Chimeras are being destroyed. Let's increase the volume. I completely forgot about that. that. There you go. And we can see that there's a bunch of shooting everywhere. I love this. I love it. Come on, just start shooting this. Now, these guys, they will probably have to deal with the defensive turrets. Now, we know that they are now going to be waiting to get in position. They are soaking up a lot of the fighters right now. And look at this. They're just casually strolling through the system. Casually. They don't have to care about anything. Then we'll have to... Def we'll work our way down here. All of these fleets will get a different target. They will start shooting it. They will get to the wolf, which will be the final one. CPU requirements are crazy for X4. That is so true. Also, guys... Uh, I'm still looking for a lot of people to actually help me revive the Discord. And we... Uh, I would be uh, absolutely loving the fact if some of you would l just just join me there. Just join me there so I have some people to talk with when I'm at work and stuff like that. But let's confirm this. Okay, well, I think we want to trigger this. Uh, you can see that the formation is starting. Currently, the sync point is almost 100. Let's trigger this so we can get starting to shoot. See, oh, that, that main battery is starting, trying to shoot a fighter. Oh, that, that, look at this. There's this, zero sense of this, but, you know, uh, all of the large turrets are on capital ships and, and structures only. All of the medium and small turrets are on uh, fighters. Drones will are, are actually considered a fighter because i believe this is a drone there's a drone my medium turrets are shooting it so i just don't need them to shoot the structure and i was hoping that by changing the requirements of those turrets by making sure they do not uh, use their medium turrets on the station they that the, the rattlesnakes were keeping the distance Instead of just going over it. So I'm hoping that is actually the case. There's another dragon. A Chimera going down. Oh, this, this music is so bloody epic. Oh no. Oh no. Let's, watch the paint bro. Watch the paint. It's like having a disco party in your cockpit. We all know the disco mode, right? In the cockpit, Run Rattlesnake has been destroyed. Second. Third. Oh my.
That is not good. That is not good. There's another one. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, well, th there's little we can do about this. They're getting just too close and personal. Currently, this shipyard is at 44%. Now you can't uh, you can't uh, select the uh, main batteries. No, it's 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 sad. Uh, ad is starting soon, guys. Sorry for that. We might have to merge. We might have to merge the entire fleet. Like these are just shooting the uh, the other ads as well. Okay, they're thirty six percent. More rattlesnakes will have to give the fleets time to recover. Another rattlesnake going down. Yeah, that's the downside of this. Luckily, there's 60 rattlesnakes. Currently. There is that a monitor? Wait, what? This is a monitor over there. Why are you there? Why are you, why, what are you doing? Oh, no, this is not. Okay. I thought I saw a monitor over there. Yeah, I wish they would still change the way, you know, your large ships. Like, they don't need to go up close and personal. I need them to behave like ships of the line. Like line ships. And when you're playing another game, is they would just line up. They will start shooting that main battery constantly. Like, they already are keeping the rattlesnakes, uh, the raptors, uh, in the distance. Right? So... We don't have to deal about that. We don't have to worry about our raptors anymore. But I still need to adjust how the large ships behave. Okay, shipyard at 30%. Uh, I wonder how many we will see. Please use Angela, uh, a name for one of the rattlesnakes as possible. I, oh, I still have two fleets to make. Um, I'm going to be making a short list because uh, I will use Angela as a fleet name as well as uh, the other one that is... Um, what's the other guy's name again? Oh, from... Um, uh, from... Uh, 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 Ginger. Ghost something. I have to look it up in chat later. Oh, look at this. I don't know what they're trying to shoot here, but oh my. <laughs> yeah, okay, so they can't build large ships anymore, which is perfect. There's another rattlesnake going down. Yeah, I think we'll lose 20 rattlesnakes over here. Uh, we definitely need to take the time to repair. <laughs> it is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, they should, they should change that. This is such a cool sight. I love it. Let's press another F3. I can see now now these rattlesnakes are just getting into a position where this this disc might be a problem. And all of the small ships and medium ships are just currently going over here for some reason. They are attacking something over there apparently. I don't know what there is. I don't see anything particularly too dangerous. You can see that there's the raptor there. Are the Stop. Okay. Wait. What happened? Uh, let's get the hull back, please. Explosion imminent. I think one of my raptors, or one of my rattlesnakes, actually quite close, is going to be destroyed. Now, I can't see the shipyard because it's actually below. Twenty-six uh, percent. Okay, let's let's uh, let's see how bad it is. 
Uh, the um, the skew fleet has already lost 18 rattlesnakes. Uh, Invalid troll has lost two, but the Lithuanian guy, miracles are still there. He has not that that uh, didn't lose any rattlesnake. Now what I don't like is they are going to be swarming anything that comes this way, and the rest will need to deal with it. Like, come on, guys. There, see how many drones. There is a ton. Yeah, yeah, you're right, dude. You, you can do it. You did it. You did, you did well. Way to go. Okay, that's not a good sign. Attack it. Attack it. Go. The Fueni guy. Attack that. Yes. That's being attacked. No, I lost the raptor. Yeah, I lost the raptor over here. Scooch has lost a raptor. I think that is uh, time that we start sending this guy out of the firing lines. Back into safe territory. Uh, what a joke. Well, I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, go here. Fly and wait over there. It's, it's time for you to get out. It is time for you to get out. You have uh, definitely proven your worth by getting your ass kicked. Way to go, mate. Way to go. Uh, here we go again. This is currently at 24%. Now, okay, the Lithuanian guy... It, okay, I see why you still didn't... Why are you, uh, why are your rattlesnakes not attacking, bro? Oh, here we go. Attack. And we'll tell the others as well, from the invalid troll, they're not doing actually a good job either. You should have manually controlled these, that's probably the problem. They are trying to target a defensive drone. So if that one goes, every rattlesnake will start to shoot the main station again. Yeah, it's it's an exact it's definitely the most expensive ship. Well, we didn't lose the monitor, so that's good. Fly and wait, so we will go backward cross. Raptor died. Everything is starting to pound the station again. So let's select the station. From out this angle, that's a monitor. Seen in shipyard, 25%. Let's take a look how much it was damaged. So they're currently, they are starting to attack it again. And gets destroyed, 24%. There's the, my, uh, here's my raptor. He, for once, for one dumb reason, he decided to fly over the shipyard. Yeah. <laughs> ah, you know... You, you got to learn on the job, mate. Learn on the job. Yeah, you're attacking right now. There you go. 18%. Uh, there's a rattlesnake just attacking that station. 16. They won't be. Um, they won't be using this no more. Uh, we'll have to repair. We will have to give it some time. We will have to start attacking those other bases. And we're going to be surrounding the wharf. Quite frankly, Explosion imminent. they can't build anyone. 3% on the shipyard. 2%. And I think the majority of the weapons have been taken out right now. There is one disc. It's gone. Oh, it's gone, guys. It is finally done. It, this one is out. There is a absolutely massive, massive amount 
of wreckage everywhere. This guy's going back. Some dragons over there. Uh, Lithuanian guy, still you, you got all of them. He lost two, which is okay. Let us... I, I, if anything, I want to destroy these two, then the him. So currently, I'm going to tell Invalatrol to move over here. And I will tell Lithuanian guy to move over there. The other one will go back. Now, we're going to be getting a another one. Invalid Troll will get itself a new Raptor. Let's build the Raptor. Invalid Troll. And I will be working on the... Um, Danger Noodle, sign him, queue up that order. I just want to get that one in, so that was done. Um, how much the fleet was worth? 10 bin, a billion? Uh, how much would it be? Let, let's take a look. We can take a look at this. If I were to buy it over here. Buy ships. Large. Raptor. High preset. Uh, that's 80. Monitors. 2. Then. Rattlesnakes. High preset. That is 20. So this currently is 1 billion. Just round it up. And the other ships... Which I could probably just take a look over here. Buy ships. Will be difficult to see because I cannot get the right uh, weapons on it. So add this to shop list. That's 30. It's 118. And then the 100 small chimeras. So it, it, I would say that's one point. To 1.3 billion. So it's not too bad actually. It's not too bad. I've seen worse. It just takes a lot of time rebuilding it. So we'll give it time. Uh, we're going to be giving it time right now. Because they cannot build large ships. Yeah you kind of overshot there. But it's fine. It's, uh, it's fine man. We need to... Okay so the Invalid Troll is building... There's a lot of dragons. We want to build up... Okay, so he is actually the uh, the fleet commander. That is the rattlesnake. That is fine. We need to... I need to think. That is 20 rattlesnakes. 19, 21 rattlesnakes we need to build. So we'll queue those up. I can start building them today. Build up large rattlesnake. Snake and roll. 20. And we'll do the one later. I have 80 million in all assets right now. I have, uh, let's take a look here. Orders. I have 80 million in my inventory. <laughs> stuff I can't get rid of. Uh, processing panels and all of that stuff. Uh, you know. Nice. Okay, so, how is the fleet doing? You're going to wait over there. You're going to be repairing. Uh, they are finally building a defensive platform over there, which is good news. Hello. Uh, apparently, my boa is picking a fight with a uh, raider. Way to go, dude. Precisely what I don't want, but that is fine. Uh, while that continues to build, let's take a look. Let's close this off, and we focus on the... Inf 
No, actually, this is not the invalid troll. This is going to be skew um, skew wicks. And I'll okay. Well, let's uh, find the two names. I need to make a bit of a. Um, let's just close that up. Uh, I'm going to be putting it in my um, my Discord on the content, my own little channel. We need the okay two uh, two times fleet. One times Angela. And one times, uh, let's take a look at the chat. Where is my other guy? Yeah, fleet of lost souls. That was the one, the fleet of lost souls. Uh, put that in Discord as well. There you go, so I won't forget. So I'll make sure that all of those will uh, will get the one thing. Hey, there's Angela. Welcome, man. Oh, well, welcome to you. Let's give you X4. And I will give you my channel as well. We can all see that. That will go in there. I will never forget that. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it as always. Uh, let's get back to my king. There you go. Okay, so they're actually now... Ooh... Okay, that's actually quite a distance away, which I, I'm okay with. Where are we going? Again. It felt like I'm... Was I walking on the side of the glass? Bad. Let's go to the raptor. Go to a raptor. Let's go to the Lithuanian guy because he will be engaging. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a look. Um, are you repairing? Okay, these guys are actually not that badly damaged. He might be repairing. Like, what are you attacking here? Yeah, see, he's repairing. He has a repair order. I don't like that they won't remove failed orders. Like, if you keep one, okay. You don't need to keep 20 of them. It makes no sense. I don't understand why you decided to attack um, small ships anyways. Now, I might not be able to do the wharf with two fleets. I will, give my, I will definitely give it a go. That's one thing. So, as for the invalid troll, how was my... Rattlesnake's doing seems fine. You're going to be coordinating attack over there. As for the Lithuanian guy, you're going to be coordinating an attack on that station. Let's go to the Lithuanian guy. Teleport to. Because why not? Why not? Take control of this one. So there is it. It seems like it. that is the energy station. So that means the defensive station is going to be below our ship. You still have some weird move order. Yeah, that's fine. Let's remove it. There you go. Thank you for uh, letting me know. Fly and wait over here as well. Let's remove that. Like, we want to make sure that this is... Holy shit, look at that. Look, this is insane. This is just insane. I didn't even know how many. Come on, let me let me select, please. Can I see how many wreckages there are? Can't. Yeah, uh, at a minimum. At a minimum, guys. Okay, they're going to be surrounding it. Uh, this time, we're going to be giving them enough time to actually get it done. Uh, what you will see during these orders 
is if they need repairs, they will do it. You can see that right over here. Some of the rattlesnakes are currently getting repaired by this uh, monitor. Okay, that I will never. I don't ever want to see again. Waiting for signal. Undocking? No, docking. He's been waiting there. Outside of the combat zone. That, that is my... My modified... Ship. That I don't want to have that lost. I would be... Quite, quite upset. If that were to happen. Uh, I don't want to see these chimeras. There's just too many of them. Gamma group. Alpha group. Beta group can go down. Epsilon can go down. Uh, Invaltrol will... We'll have to rename it. It's, uh... Oof. Bit of a, uh, map bug over there. Let's give it time. They will attack it. We'll, um, take care of this. Oh, yeah, look at this! They actually got the Zark Dominion finally back. This is now back. Uh, meaning we're go also going to be removing the Matrix 598 from the blacklist. <sighs> wow. Confirm changes. Uh, and now we will probably also see some... Uh, some of these ships getting resupplied. Okay, you're going there. You're going to be docking, which is perfect. I like it. Let's take a look. You can go, you can go, you can go. Go, you can go. Let's take a look. When is the parcel going to be delivered? You've got to be kidding me. Come on, man. Someone between half past six and half past ten. That is not good enough. You know, come here. It's come sooner. But today... It sucks. I have to ask the wife when she's back. You know... Get it all done. Okay, how is this going? So, if we now select from a view, let's see, get you. Sink point is one ship is not in its area. This is this this rattlesnake. When that triggers, they will attack. For the Lithuanian guy, they uh, I don't know what the fleet aggressiveness does. Absolutely no clue. Hey, it's Q, man. Hello. Yeah, you kind of you you were in a lot of combat here. We took down the uh, the shipyard. Welcome. Uh, welcome. We. Uh, I'm actually. This is not the invalid troll. I should rename this. Uh, you lost your. Uh... Yeah, you lost your your carrier, mate. Sorry for that. It was a massive fight. Massive. Absolutely insane combat situation there. Now, the one thing that I'm not... W if we trigger this... Oh, yeah. Here we go. So, they're under... Uh, they're going to be doing the attack on that defensive station. That's good. How is Lithuanian doing? Uh, still... Oh, wow. You lost a lot of ships. See that? Lost a good amount. Uh, definitely the fighters. There's only 58 of you there, but still, you have all of your rattlesnakes, which are basically like the backbone of the uh, of the fleet. I wonder. Like, when they start coming in, we'll, we'll lose a lot of these smaller ships. At least there's no drones. And the drones is the most annoying thing in these engagements. What's the trigger doing? Okay, four more ships. What ships are we waiting for, then? Apparently, okay, there's the monitor. There is not him. You're there. One of my dogs needs to go outside. I also need a, a bit of a uh, break. 
Uh, the option coordinate at the weakest target first, good. I don't uh, think so. Because the weakest target would be the drone. They would let everything go to kill a drone. Maybe I should turn that off. You are right. Thank you so much. You are absolutely right. I should have turned that off. I didn't. That is my entire problem. I think you just saved the entire campaign. For not attacking the weakest point, go. Um, apparently, they are doing something. Not particularly sure what they're doing. Range. So much over there, I can't even focus it. Yeah, it's. Uh, I should have known that actually. I didn't check. Uh, 36, so that's about to fall. <laughs> okay, let's go here then. Let's go. Okay, let's trigger this. Go. Okay, let's turn off Sata. Let's get to a, uh, a rattlesnake. So we can actually go up close and personal. We'll actually see some of the uh, of the engagement. We crouch. Start shooting him. Ah, oh, I should have turned off the attack weakest target. This. Oh, I'd lost so many ships due to that. It makes so much sense. Oh, dude. I cannot blame anyone then. That's my. That's purely on me. Why? Why are you moving up, bro? All of the others are fighting. Why do I always pick the ship that's just like derping around? You play, you learn. That is definitely true, man. That is definitely true. Okay, here we go. First volley, I hope. He's aligning. Yeah. No, that's not a ship. Bastard. He was just. Come on, just start shooting. We definitely mispicked the ship here because this guy, I don't know what this pilot is doing. He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm saving my rounds for another day. Forget this encouragement. Try again. We don't need to, uh, we don't need to fire. Come on, fire. I want to see them, the, because the weapons actually move. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? What is he doing? Come on, shoot. Shh, mute. Are you kidding me? I picked an idiot. Yeah, this guy is brain dead. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Yo, come on, man. Even the others are fighting. Explosion imminent. I God, I hope so. <laughs> I do hope so. Come on, because this, this guy is just... If I just nod at it, it will be fine. We don't need to fire no weapons. We just wait. We act like we fired. Everyone, take a seat. We'll just wait. I just shake my head a few times. Dude, shoot. <laughs> Seriously? Please. Please. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> that is so Rose true. <laughs> oh, that is so true. You see, I, he didn't do anything. 
The others are just firing away. Uh, I like this combat experience, and this guy is just doing nothing. I see you, man. I'm going to fire you. You're going to be firing this captain. And he's like apologizing, right? Like, I've always been afraid of captains, sir. I I've never been in the Navy. I've never been a in a combat situation. I would try to get away. <laughs> He's not doing jack shit. Hey, there we go. <laughs> he shot. He did it. Way to go, dude. Well, I'm proud of you. Yeah, you actually found the button, didn't you? Come on, do it again. Come on, shoot me in the face. Come on. Yeah, uh, he's targeting. He's targeting. Oh, yeah. You can see that just going down. Captain at five stars. I don't think it's a normal behavior. Unexpected captains. <laughs> Yeah, only level 5 captains will shoot straight away. And this guy just didn't know what to do. He just... <laughs> Thank you so much, Vex and Potato, for the Prime Sub. I really appreciate Vex and Potato it. Just subscribed. Oh, yeah. Welcome, man. How are you doing? How are you doing? I've been having a, such a good time. Absolutely a good time. I really need to go to a bathroom. I don't want to. Uh, let's take a look how the other fleet is doing. I should be done. Okay, what do you lose? These guys are back. 140 ships still. He's a level three. Let's let's change this. I don't like point guard. So we'll go with the inverted point guard. We'll go with the inverted point guard. There we go. Inverse point guard, sorry. Uh, plasma turret started to shoot on the ship. <laughs> How dare you bladder the man's to be emptied. I know. This guy is still nodding away. He's like, yep, 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 yep. I agree. I agree. I will just shake my head and he can bite me. No glory for you. No glory for you. <sighs> this is not the time. <laughs> yeah, I love these sentences. They're really good. They're really good. So, uh, Vaxen, how are you doing, man? How are you? How are you today? Okay, so, fleets. It's, this is the, this guy? Are you repairing? They did repair. Okay, let's go ahead and coordinate an attack over here. This is the final defensive. I'm thinking, no, not the final one. This, there's actually a defensive station over here. We will probably see... Yeah, we did good. Standing in here on the bridge, dancing around, trying not to piss yourself. <laughs> I need to pee. I need... Oh, that's what he's doing. He's just standing like... Oh, God. Oh, God. Explosion. Oh, God. He completely forgot that he's just having this helmet up. Why is that? Why not claiming sectors? Uh, this is a, um, a patriarch one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Valid troll, take it off. Oh. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you, you're right. You're right. Absolutely right. Uh, I'm not claiming the um, the stations or the systems because that, that it's, it's not that kind of a play. Now, when version 5 comes out, I'm thinking we're going to do an economical campaign first. And then, when that is done... We're going to do a conquest campaign. So we're going to be focusing all of the resources on our own empire and then eradicate the entire galaxy. He still didn't lose any rattlesnakes. Well, way to go, Lithuanian guy. You did good. So we took back the family crit. Uh, Ryan's Defiance, Dominion 1, and we will take Matrix. Then, yeah, we kind of lost those guys, but we're going to be focusing on the main mission from the Patriarch. Then, uh, these, these are relatively safe. Like, we don't have to worry about that. Once this is gone, uh, we can have the uh, Patriarch. We're going to be dealing with the, uh, the scripts. It has to happen. Also, 
One minute, I have to rename that. A buttload of uh, dragons will uh, we'll actually send these guys over here. We have none. I want you to attack with Commander Delta. Beta. We'll build that fleet up. So that's 20 again. We still need two. How can I lose them when half should be warranted? I know. Death to the Argons. Well, actually... Uh, the Xenon already quite helped with that. Taking Morningstar free. Taking Argon Prime. Taking Antikva's Choice. Uh, actually taking care of Prophet Center Alpha, which is really annoying. But, oh well, it is what it is. So, yeah, we are pushing. And if some people say it's too hard to play as the Patriarch... Okay, it's, it, sometimes this happens, and I don't know why. But there it goes. So, these guys are repairing. I'm going to let them repair. Apparently, they already triggered the attack. That's interesting. No sync point made available. I think because of turning down the, um, the Xenon got Argon. Yes. Yes, they did. The Xenon absolutely took care of Argon Prime. Some of my dragons over there only lost three ships over there. Lost a buttload over there, though. And this is going to be... I will be attacking it from two sides. Hopefully by this allowing this weakest targets first. I will be able to deal with the wolf. Dealing with the Xenon threat. In this system. And I kind of don't want to wait with that. Uh, we're going to be renaming this one. Uh, renaming you into. Skewex. Which is going to be. Taking command of this. Um, so we'll have to do it the other way around. Also we now have a, a copy paste. Uh, thing going on. Which I really like. Let's go with you. We lost. We don't have, we didn't lose a monitor. It's currently over here. So you and you go to here. Supply command fleet Epsilon. Yes, I did. You did. I'm sorry, mate. Uh, it, it just, I it couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. You died. Uh, let's send you to attack with Commander Delta, Beta. And then, let's take a look. Close you off, close you off. This rattlesnake. Fleet 66, that's a lie. Uh, attack with Alpha. Now, we can now do copy-paste, which is really good. Absolutely good. If we now go to, where is it? Rename. We can now copy. Cancel, rename fleet, paste. Finally, finally we have a copy paste thing in the game. So damn good. Just gonna make sure to take out those uh, stupid scene and defense modules. The threat for the, yeah, that is that is absolutely no joke, no joke. So these guys are just going to be there. We are going to be repairing those. Let's take a look at inverted. B. No, we can be do. We can do better. Let's go with a cross. Let's go with a cross. Thank you. Okay, it seems like this one's going to be down soon. Okay, it's it's a power plant. It it does not like. There's some defenses. Like this one is starting to be damaged. Thirty-seven percent. It seems like he took a bit of a beating, but he is building up shields. Yeah, this fight is almost done. We definitely need to give them some time to repair. Like this guy doesn't have shields anymore, so we, he's focusing on this particular ship. Seventy-eight, seventy-seven, seventy-six. He's definitely getting a bit of a uh, bit of a pounding. 23%. Uh, well, if he dies, he dies. I'm not going to be... I'm, I'm not going to be focusing on that. Yeah, you would put on the shipyard, though. 
Yeah, you actually f flew o over the shipyard. Um, mm, yeah, it's true. He kind of flew over it, mate. Okay, you know what? You. Fly and wait over there. Get over there, repair. See, he's immediately going for the repair order. Uh, this one. Destroy the... Um, he will go to repair as well. Here we go. I think there was a, a, a blast. Because all of these lost some shield. Uh, the Chimeras are definitely not doing well. Okay, after this fight, I'm going to be taking three minutes, so uh, <laughs> I can go to the bathroom. I really need to go there. Uh, we're going to be positioning these guys. Like, let's take a look. This is a defense module, and there is a defense module. So if we go in from over here and over there, eventually that's a problem. I'm thinking we might go from the side and from the back. And pincer it. Definitely want to turn off the weak, the weak, uh, weak targets first because that's a problem. We have uh, thirty-five rattlesnakes in here. Should be enough for the wolf. Split yep, split sense machine for recycling. Way to go, mate. Way to go. Uh, just let them repair. Let them do whatever. I could... Still building dragons. Three more to go. You know, it's fine. So, uh, give me a second while I um, go to the bathroom. Because I really need to. <sighs> uh, let's put... Shall I put Seta on so more will happen? Pause. Yeah, you might be right here, mate. Well, no. We don't need to pause anymore. There's no large ships coming in. Yeah, I will just leave it like this. We'll leave it like this, and we'll uh, wait until these guys repair themselves, and we'll go pincer them in, and destroy this wolf or die trying. So give me a second. I'll be back.
Oké, okay, almost done. Is one more cut and I'm done. <laughs> okay. So, quick save, SATA. If shit goes wrong, reload. <laughs> yeah. I kind of didn't uh, get and get that in time. But, um, I do enjoy... In, in, definitely, uh, we'll go with the safe. Because that's going to be important, right? I don't want to lose... Like, if this goes wrong, I still need this point to go back. So, yeah. Man, what an action-packed episode. I love it. I love this stream, man. It's absolutely so... I'm so hyped. I'm really hyped. This guy's going through a repair. They're going through... All of the territory again. This is back. Build two defensive platforms right away. Oh man. Final engagement. Okay, what is uh what's up over here? So it seems like they have been repaired. I was like, where's the rest of the fleet? But yeah, they're still alive, they're that good. Uh, there's some dragons over here. We're going to be assigning over here. Assigned to the beta grip. Like, they're good for defense and stuff like that. They're not really in for the attack, but as long as they don't directly target some of the others, that is, uh, that's fine. It still looks good. We're on the rattlesnake. 20 to build. Two dragons over there. A lot of small... The medium drops are almost done to the planet, which is uh, good. Let's see, Invalid Troll, they are repaired. That is good. They're still doing a thing. See, he just finished repairing. He's undocking. He is also docking and repairing, so we're not there yet. I think we are going to do a bit of Seda. Give me access to flight controls, thank you. Okay, let's wait until all of them are getting this icon. Like, there's nothing else. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's doesn't... No, 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 no. It's not needed. It's not needed. He's bringing his blanket. I got two dash, uh, dash hunts. Two of those min miniature dogs. I'm actually quite surprised they shut up today. <laughs> Usually they are... Very, very active. Okay, so he has no, nothing to do. He's doing fine. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. That's good. Attack all enemies. Not sure how I feel about that, but we definitely want to make sure that they repair. Uh, before we do anything, uh, let's uh, grab something to drink. I want to finish this. Finish this. Oh yeah, water. I, I talk way too much. I really talk too much. So by the looks of it, one, two, three, four, five, six ships. Why are you not moving then? Okay, that's an interesting way of flying sideways. Sure, by all means, do it. I do want to make sure that they are repaired. That is the most important thing currently. They can do. Uh, well, we send you over here to attack with Commander Beta. We can also send those dragons to one of these fleets. Just fill them up. I 
I don't I don't know if that is a good idea actually. I don't know if that is a good idea. Now I wouldn't have mind to see the Patriarch actually hand helping us in this assault, but they uh they had other things to do, like we can't really control the Patriarch's time now, can we? No, we can't. Uh seems like this Boa is going to be getting a look. So what do we have? Okay, never mind. There is a lot of wreckage over here. Still at 100%. Not the best of their ideas to attack like this. Seems like this guy is ready. But these are the dragons. Of course he is ready. Uh, Lithuanian, how are you doing? Still a few... Two are still... Yeah, he's repairing right now. Okay, so this is the final one. We will bring him into position. And um, because he's done first, I'm going to bring him the long way. And park him over here. Yo, dude. Stop that. Don't look all that cheeky to me. <laughs> I need a door cam. A door cam would be nice. Uh, so, yeah, he's getting up. He's getting down. And seems like there's two more over here. So that's good. Just a few more. And I, I do want to take my time for this. Because I kind of don't want to lose too many ships. And this time we will definitely not focus on small targets. Because he will send out three or five hundred drones. And I just want those main cannons to start pounding that station. While the uh, the medium turrets just focus on the drones and stuff like that. Like that. Uh, okay, he opened up. That's interesting. Okay, so he's done. Let's get the Lithuanian. Fly white. Ah, oh, fly white. Uh, it seems like there is two more ships to go. And they, they will get it. They will get there quite soon enough. Now, if we come across any large ships, and I doubt that is actually the case. Here is one rattlesnake. They're, they're starting to build the rattlesnakes. I don't have to um, babysit that. I don't know about this fight, guys. I'll be honest. It's not an easy fight. I've, we've done this at the end of previous uh, previous episode, of previous stream. I keep calling it episode because for six years I've been doing YouTube videos. So... We'll bring him in from here. He's now docking. These guys are starting to... And I love the split ships. They have a very high... Um, a very high traveling mode. Which I really, really appreciate. Okay, I want you to go. They're right over. Fly over there. We'll sandwich the hell out of this guy. Keep the traveling mode on, please. Uh, we're losing some missile components. I don't have any ships. Actually, no, no, no. We are filled. That is fine. They're going back. Back and forth, back and forth. I don't know why. Probably has something to do with the uh, attack pattern. And he's, he's actually flying over the wharf to resupply. That is so good. Absolutely brilliant. Let's get rid of this order. 
we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. This is the uh, the final stretch of the uh, the xenon in this area. The split will take the system because there is actually resources in it. Um, how much are there in here? There is a absolute shit ton of silicon. A hundred and twenty-two million silicon. There is a hundred and ten thousand nivirium. There is uh, fourteen. Thousand. I'll just call it. I don't know how the K's and the M's work in this game. It's sometimes it's really weird. But this is a very good system. Uh, we'll be definitely be building uh, hydrogen, ice, nevir, uh, hydrogen, ice, ore, and silicon bases in here for distribution to our own. Uh, that I don't want to see. But we'll we'll have to deal with one, and then we can deal with the other. We can actually use this fleet. To attack that. Because that, that's nothing. We'll, we'll use it. We'll use it. It's fine. Uh, you go attack with Commander Alpha. Two whopping rattlesnakes in there. I know. Massive, massive fleet. Okay, are we ready to start a coordinated attack? Like, they're still not there yet. Let's get the uh, Sata on again so they travel a bit further in. Uh, 14.45 is more, wow. Okay, that's good to know, thank you. Holy crap. There is so much in this system. Like, what is he doing? Like, I don't know. Damn. That is, that's insane. Okay, that is just insane. I can't say anything about it. Okay, so we got some from raiding parties heading in. I think it is time that we stop. Uh, these 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 uh, orders. Let them get together. You as well. Uh, let us remove this order. Coordinate an attack. Now this time I will definitely select you again. Go to behavior. You will not target weak things first. And you will coordinate an attack. You will not attack weak targets first. Let's get going. This is going to be one for the books, guys. Absolutely going to be quite rough. We'll attack from two angles. As you can see, they will be building a few circles. Let's get this done. It's done. Okay. My audio is not working right now. And I don't know why. Strange. Maybe I hit a... Did I hit a mute button? Save. Stop. Settings. Sounds. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Oh no, okay, no, my Go XLR is having issues apparently. Strange. Uh, what's your problem? Strange. Uh, really say it's not in here anymore. I don't want to do this without sound, so we're going to be saving. I'm going to restarting the game. Minimize that. I'm, I'm actually quite fortunate that my mic is still working, but there's no audio anymore. Hmm. Wow, wow, you have 10 hours of playing? Holy shit. That is amazing. Okay, I really think that is bloody amazing. Okay, exit to desktop. Put my desktop tap on so you actually can see what the fuck I'm doing. Come on. Um, next foundation.
10 hours of gameplay, man. Oh, that is so good. I still don't hear any music. Totally, I hit more than a hundred. Ah. Settings, sounds. Yeah, now it's off. There you go. Load game. There we go. Okay, good. Oh, guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? Really need that blanket. Okay. Don't need them fighting. Don't need them fighting. Come here, come here. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. Now onwards to battle. Today is a good day to die. I agree. Hey, oh, hey, hey. Don't scratch me. Good work today. Uh, I got around... Yeah, we've got 30 minutes remaining. We'll get it all done. Still have the uh, thing on. Let's turn that off. Okay, exciting times, trying times as well. Okay, parcel. Did it come any sooner? Could you come? Could you come? Please, I don't want you to be here at half past nine because my wife will be, at, you know, in bed, sleeping. You see, you see. I'm hoping that once we, um, once those graphic card prices drop, it's um, this will go a bit faster as well. There we go. They're getting ready. See on wolf. Yeah, well, I'll have to... Okay, that's 20. This is 18, it's 2, 16, 17. We need three more. I have to make sure that happens. I don't want them to go too fast. Like, these dragons are fighting already, and that is not what I like. Uh, we're going to be triggering Invalid Troll. You in trouble now. Because, well, quite frankly... So apparently, I cannot tr trigger him. I think he's already attacking. Yeah, he's already attacking. Why don't those guys attack? Am I missing something right now? Yeah, a lot of drones. Um. Captain. Captain. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. So, let's take a look. Can I select the station? And they are actually, the rattlesnakes are shooting. And this is great. As soon as you take out uh, the docking base, they can no longer launch those extremely, extremely annoying drones. And that's one turret. There was actually a disc. Here's another disc. That's the second one. There's a third one over there. Fourth. And then you have these two. Fifth. Yeah, this is definitely... And there's one of my previous... Are you kidding? Oh, did it? Wait, what? Okay, this is a previous uh, attempt. This is one of the, uh, the previous raptors. 
that we saw. Oh, this one is from the Patriarch. It is very possible. Uh, Rattlesnake's getting destroyed again. Like as soon as we can deal with this, that is fine. Um, yes, we will lose a lot of ships. But we're doing a good amount of damage now. Let's take a look over here. 70%. Chimera's getting destroyed. Nobody cares about Chimera's. They are getting closer. And it's precise. It's actually this is the mode, the problem, most problematic one. There's another disc going to be. Boom, and then this is the storage looks really good of these guys, you know. I love this storage. This is their storage. Is I think that's that's just probably liquids or everything. I don't know, but it it, it does look fantastic. Wolf at seventy four for fifty eight, fifty seven. Yeah, this looks good. It it looks very promising. They do a lot better than previously. It's definitely the option. I wish that you could just permanently turn that option off. Forty-five, forty-four, and they should no longer be able to drop out drones because this has been destroyed. There's another rattlesnake. There's another explosion going. Oh yeah, man. 35. Oh, it's no longer a wolf. You can see the icon has changed into a defensive one. Can we use some sabotage tactics against base defenses modules? Um, yes, you can, but not with the Xenon. When you are looking in your inventory, there is items. And some of these items are called... Uh, uh, bypass, encryption, uh, slicer. If you go into a station, you go to, say, the security office, you can use those items. And you can turn off the turrets. You can turn off the shields. You can turn off the production. You can empty out its warehouse, at least a percentage of it. So you, you can actually use those uh, items. In bases against Argon, the Taladi, against everyone, but not the Xenon. <laughs> because you cannot dock with them, ever. So yeah, they're, they're really good. Um, yeah, definitely the... Uh... Oh, well, that is definitely like sabotage. Uh, okay, repair drones getting out. There's another explosion, 13%. Man, onward to glory. Onward to glory. This is so good looking. Okay, there is... That. Oh, yeah, we saw those go in like crazy. It is this defensive disc that is still shooting a lot. And there is one of my rattlesnakes going to go boom. That was sad. It's a sad day for the Empire. I think the uh, the attack from two angles really did wonders. And it's because these guys are, once again, trying to find an area to attack from. That is the majority of the problem. I think they should try to let these, these guys go, like, in a circle around their attack. Another one. Like I said, I'm not going to be securing 3%, 2%. Come on, guys. Come on, boom. Come on. No glory for you. 14 units. 12. That's, I think that's it. Come on. Final volley heading in over there. It's gone. Mm, it's gone. Yes. And it's no longer red. There is nothing in there. There is Q coming in to deal with that. It is done. Yes. Uh, I'm going to leave one fleet over here. The others are going to be going for repair. Then I'm thinking we probably... I know, right? Finally. Two streams it took to get these. When we have more... 
uh, when we have more fleets, it's going to be easier. Uh, we can just send as fleets to do that, and it's just, just you know, it will steam, it will snowball. It's actually snowball, not sto steamroll, but snowball. Uh, we'll let these guys go for now. Deal with whatever repairs they need to do. We lost a lot of rattlesnakes. Currently, one over here who is a sign waiting for signal. Weirdo, don't do that. Let's see, 19. So what it is? what is it that we need to build? <laughs> yeah, he will take care of that. Okay. Something is shooting off it again. Just, just attack it. Just attack it. It's fine. Let's just select you two and go attack. Okay. What is it that we need? Let's take a look. I'm going to be resupplying Invelatrol first. And once he is done, I can send him off to start the defense. Okay, there's another one. Kidding me. It's this ship. This mining ship is the problem. They will try to build everything over here. We should probably just deal with this. Okay. Um, let's open this up. So you're 13. You're 14. That would be all of these guys. I'm going to be reassigning you. I think that is the easiest way to deal with this. Reassign you to attack with Commander Alpha. Oh, that's that's too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lithuanian guy. Attack with Alpha. Yeah, <laughs> it's usually it is. If you lose, uh, fifty mines go away fast. Yeah, I just it's, it's fifty mines. You have way more patience than I have. That's the problem. I don't have patience at all. Um, Invelatrol needs medium ships. Oh, these are the medium ships of the Invelatrol. Okay, that's good. He doesn't have any more. You have 26. He has 4. That's good. It's great news. Um, assigned to attack with Beta. That's 30. We have... How many? Let's take a look. Sixty-one in gamma, so that's nine ninety thirty-nine. So that's all of these. Intercept. <clears throat> that is eighty-one. Let's go 81. You don't have any of them. That is fine. We will start building 19 of those. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, let's get to my own ship. It, it is, I think, in storage. Yeah, it's in storage. So we'll go towards the monitor. Teleport to. Oh, man. To the docking area. Can I just travel there, please? Go here, then. Okay, let's get the computer. We'll have to uh, summon... Summon the ship. Then this uh, fleet can go. I don't think we will get too many problems in this station and in this system anymore. And I'm hoping the Patriarch will take control of it really fast. We might have to assist in the um, defense. Um, we'll see about that. There you go. Absolutely looks like a lobster. Okay, let's go. On dock. Okay, what else? Um, those guys done. Uh, those 19. I don't think so. That would be... Oh, actually. That's quite a few of them already done. Oh, maybe they are done. Holy crap, that's fast. Invalid troll assigned to... Gamma. And yeah, this fleet is back up and running. Way to go. Good. So the Invalid Troll can now go to... Let's take a look. Come here, come here, come here. You. Fly and wait over there. Uh, the other fleet, I'm thinking I do want to go with three fleets through the 11th hour and then go downwards because I do not want to engage in the two grand system. I do not want the um, uh, unlawful killing because you will get that when you are killing other ships in someone else's territory. Okay, what else can we do? We have two rattlesnakes over in Skewer. We're going to be keeping them. Because, well, reasons. I want you to patrol the um, matrix. Enter the matrix. Five, nine, eight, go. Uh, we'll do the same thing with the Lithuanian guy for now. Patrol the matrix. Five, eight, nine. And we do this so this guy, this very, very annoying guy, will not be building a base somewhere. Because I get a feeling that that might be the case. Uh, set guidance over there. Autopilot over in that range. If I find it, we will have some combat ourselves. It's been a while. Let's make sure that we got control as well. Then uh, tomorrow, hopefully, if I can, uh, re we've got one too many rattlesnakes in here. Let's uh, assign you over to the Lithuanian guy. Autopilot disengaged. I feel like I just did something dumb. Ah, oh, damn it.
That is not what I wanted. Okay, it's going to be easier to keep the uh, invalid troll. Let's remove all orders and assignments. Let us... Close that. Okay, actually, no, that's not too bad. You. Assign to. That's better. Okay, luckily, nothing too bad. Okay, we're already over here. Let us um, take a look. We know there's a ship somewhere, and he's going to be nasty. Look. There you go. He is trying it. He's trying. We're going to be looking at Xenon ship and uh, we'll shoot him. We'll have to deal with that. Because they will be building a defensive base over here. There's so many materials. There's actually some ships still. That's fine. It's not a um, it's not a mining ship. The mining ships that are the most annoying. Engaged. You just head over there, deal with it. Especially the mining ship. You. Disengage. There's another one to my right. These need to go. Sure they can't build. I think that should do it. They're already trying to build it. Bit of a uh, big job. Let's, um... Back. I, I, I don't want to, um... <laughs> this could take a while. This is usually how I kill case. Just, just do it like this. Well, you take out his engines and turrets, you can just use Seda to get outside of that loading. I'm hoping that we will not see any Xenon stations anymore. Yeah, don't know. Don't know about it. Like I said, this is a very... Very healthy system. Yeah. 
Come on. Like once the Patriarch takes this, he will have police forces dealing with this. Like I can't police this station because it's not mine. You can only police your own systems. There you go. That's done. Oh, he's building another one. See? Another defense of, uh, of another construction bay. Ah, uh, he's probably building another one. That's it. I don't see any more. I would it would be it would be a bit a bit of a problem if they are rebuilding. No, it's it's fine the way it is. We, at least we have one guy not listening to commands. Fly over there. Nah, not not for this series. No. Like we're just here to assist the patriarch because people said that uh, the spear of the patriarch was one of the most difficult starts. There, there were. So, I'm very happy to see that we actually took care of the ma the main issue. It's like, the Patriarch no longer has to worry about these upper sectors. They can start focusing on this, and they could start focusing on uh, Argon. And, and I wonder how that will help the game. I'm, I'm just waiting for them to build an admin center. They will build an admin center. Usually, because you can see already, there's a lot of ships now heading in here. Like, like I said, like, uh, with the new DLC coming up so soon, uh, there's no need for me to change my rules. So I will just abide by my own rules and will just play accordingly. Let's see, how many do I need? This is seven and two. It's uh, nine. Eighteen is twenty-seven. It's twenty-eight. So we need twelve. Twelve more rail snakes. And that's just for this fleet. We still need to build two other fleets. The one thing that I might consider doing is building my mining stations in here. I, I use mining distribution hops, like over here. Methane storage, helium, hydrogen, silicon, and ore. And I think my ore is getting... Actually, it's not too bad. Still keeping up. And I have methane also over here. Methane and helium. And some ships just making sure that I they redistribute them. So I have a trade station over here. Which is... Open it up. He is having methane and hydrogen. What he will do is he will maximize, he will buy as much as possible in from my own faction. But also selling at the lowest possible price. And so, um, if I claim sectors that are not connected to another Xenon sector, they will... 
try to build some defense there or not. Um, well, Awaiting orders. maybe. Maybe. Usually when, when I go for a game myself, right? I go and take... Where are you? Not Sanctuary. No. Here. I usually take Napoleon's Fortune. A reason for it is there is a amazing amount of ore and silicon there. Uh, and there's also hydrogen. Now you only have to you see where you can find methane and stuff like that. But this is a great way because there's one entry. So you build a defensive base over here. You will have to deal with the, um, the Hakka. Or whatever it's pronounced, there is probably a hive somewhere in the outer edges. Destroy it. You can use one L ship to do that. Just pilot it yourself, fly towards the hive, start shooting it. When it's too crowded, just pull back. Uh, repair. Go back in there, start shooting it. And you will see that those annoying pests, those uh, hive mind pests will uh, actually go away. Anyways, guys, unfortunately, I can no longer keep, <laughs> keep the game up and running. I need to run. I need to pick up my wife. And uh, I want to thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow and tomorrow evening after work. Tomorrow evening is going to be a tough one because I will be very sleepy. Uh, but for now, let us just end the stream. Uh, let's go find um, someone to raid. One of my friends, maybe? No? Anyone? Hmm. It's such a shame. Usually there are people playing X4, but it's fine. Let's go. Anyone playing X4? Yeah. Just chilling, trying not to die. Captain P. I think he's a good rating, rating guy. Let's go. We'll uh, start a raid. He's tiny. It's good. And uh, thank you all. Thank you all. And uh, hopefully to see you tomorrow. Uh, for now, thank you. And have a wonderful day. Goodbye.